and like us on Facebook, facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Several media outlets have reported on 11 planes allegedly missing from a Libyan airport and the possibility that the planes could be used for a terror attack. The Washington Free Beacon, Al Jazeera Television, and USA Today have reported that intelligence agencies believe the jets could be used to strike targets on the 13th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. A spokeswoman for the White House National Security Council told USA Today there's no confirmation that aircraft were stolen. Pictures are available online that purport to show Islamic militants standing with planes they allegedly took from an airport in Tripoli. The Huffington Post also reported that a Moroccan military expert claimed there was credible intelligence for the planes to be used in an attack on the 9-11 anniversary. Duke University and New York University have recently begun offering courses on cryptocurrencies. NYU professor Jeffrey Miller and professor David Yermak are teaching the law and business of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Yermak stated the course will teach how cryptocurrencies affect the principles of finance. In the spring of 2015, Duke University finance professor Campbell Harvey will begin teaching innovation, disruption, and crypto ventures, focusing on the potential of blockchain technology. Cryptocurrency courses are already offered at the University of Nicosia in Cyprus and the UK's University of Cumbria. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Now accepting Bitcoin. Online, rrbi.co. Or by phone, 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 5th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. North, an extremely vocal opponent of gay marriage, drew fire during his 2010 re-election campaign for saying that the legalization of gay marriage would lead to man-horse marriages. In one instance, he told the New Haven Register, quote, it's a slippery slope. If we allow two men to marry, what's next? Men marrying horses? But yesterday, North found himself at the center of a media firestorm when the New York Times published photos of North on what appears to be romantic outings with a horse. Gathered during the Times' two-month investigation, the pictures show North in almost a dozen locations with the same three-year-old mare. A former aide discovered links to numerous horse-related sites, including phillyfreaks.com and hothindquarters.com on North's work computer. The Times is accusing North of using federal funds to pay for luxurious trips, including a three-night stay at the high-end Sueño Stables in Catalonia, Spain, last month. North released a statement yesterday claiming he only spent time with the horse twice while conducting research for his anti-gay marriage project. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show, and you know what that means. Well, first of all, that means that there's live radio on a Sunday night, which I know you're not used to that, but that also means that you are joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. That's right. Uh, this is a team you only get on Sunday nights, but of course, Free Talk Live, if you're new to the show, it's a show that runs seven nights a week, and you get a variety of of uh, of hosts and a variety of opinions but the real opinions we want are the opinions from you and you can call into the show 855-450-3733 that is, that is the pro xpn toll-free call in line and you can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about that you is know what, what they say about opinions uh, well, something you can't say on the radio, and that may actually relate to a story that we may get to later. <laughs> it, it might. Uh, we, <laughs> of course, if you don't call in, we have stories that we want to talk about. Uh, we've got a few of them lined up for tonight. But again, if you call in, we don't get to them, and hey, that's that's fine. Uh, that's why we are here. So, but uh, you know, speaking of getting to the phones, we've actually got a phone call right off the bat here with the uh, pizza guy in Fargo and he wants a uh, pizza guy. Are you with us? Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to call and uh, ask about uh, your opinion on ISIS a little bit. I assume you don't mean the Egyptian goddess. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean the, uh, the Islamic state of Israel and Syria or Iraq and Israel and Syria, Iraq and Syria. Well, um, uh 
I think that, um, you know, that it's following the pattern that I've seen most of my life, which is that the United States uh, funds and organization and trains them to some extent. And then, you know, they go off the rails and they do what they want. Sure. This is the same organization, essentially, that was uh, that we that the United States was fighting in Iraq, helped in uh, Libya, helped in Syria, and now is fighting and wants to fight is fighting in, in Iraq. So do you think, like, internationally, and obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total dove. Um, I, I think pull out everywhere. Uh, realistically, I don't think I can expect that to happen, you know, on the national stage. I mean, what, what do you think is the best outcome you can ask for, you know, as far as the national government to actually do? I mean, if they're, if they're killing American citizens, then, I mean, they're basically begging to be attacked, don't you think? Well, it's it's interest. Th- this is a really interesting uh, development, and there's some ironies here because I can't help but feel this really feels like uh, World War One redux, you know, redo because this feels like the Ottoman Empire versus the British Empire or versus you know, kind of the the white man, and it's ironic because a lot of the rhetoric I feel. Uh, and I'm open to being wrong, but I feel that a lot of the rhetoric coming from ISIS or ISIL, whatever, you, whichever term they want to use, uh, s- smacks very much of the return of an Ottoman Empire. Um, now, of course, then it gets into the question of, you know, where did all of this, you know, where did all these Arab conflicts start from in the first place? Did it all start from the fall of the Ottoman Empire? And was that a right thing or a wrong thing or to wrong occur? Thing. And, Sounds like uh, pizza guy's gone. Oh yeah, uh, he had an important delivery. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I think Brian, you and I were actually talking about this off the air last night, and I, I think you've got an intelligent uh, perspective on that. So go ahead. Why don't you continue? Uh, well, you know, I just I don't know that I have an actual solution to the matter. Oh, well, not, he didn't it. ask for a solution. He he asked for a prediction almost. Yeah, well, a prediction, honestly, uh, and I don't say this lightly because I feel far too many people do say this really easily, but uh, I I think there's a there's a setup for World War III here. I think that this is, uh, I, I mean, and really, I don't like to use that term at all, but it, it's ironic because, I mean, this is almost, 100, almost exactly 100 years later. In fact, yeah. I, I had tweeted, I said, get ready for the 100th celebration of the British Empire versus the Ottoman Empire. And, of course, in this case, it's the Commonwealth, because there's a there's a, a certain group, a, almost, one dare say, a league of nations now, signed up with the United States to take on this problem. Uh, and, you know, it, it really, I mean, the solution does come down to what happens if you do just walk away. I mean, and it's so funny, because this is what gets taught in school now. It's like, no, don't engage in the fight. Just, you know, get away from it. Walk. This is what everybody's taught, but except for when it comes to the national stage, that's not what you do. You don't just, like, get out of there. Uh, you want to get payback. Well, personally, in my opinion, I understand that feeling of wanting payback. It's the very reason I joined the military in 2002, because I wanted to go hurt some people because I had some family die in New York, in New York City, Okay. And on 9-11? On 9-11. Okay. And it was uh, very disconcerting to me. And I, I have no problem admitting that that was straight up revenge. And also it came from the fact that there was a lot of rhetoric in the United States itself of people saying, you know, hey, uh, you know, the Jews caused this or this caused this or stuff like, I mean, all this, all this crazy, you know, just this violent rhetoric going around. And honestly, can anybody tell me what we've done in Afghanistan that has somehow kept the actions of terrorism of what occurred in 9-11 and et cetera? Has it solved any of that? No, look what we have going on with ISIS. It hasn't solved anything. Yeah, I, I, I think that it seems to me that the only solution that I'm going to be able to proffer, I don't have any, as somebody who doesn't believe that war is a very good solution to problems, I have to say the United States has to step step out of this one. Yeah. The Middle East, if, if you want me to comment on it, I think you have to go back a long time. The Ottoman Empire prevented equilibrium from occurring in the Middle East because they ruled over them. Right. Then the British prevented equilibrium from occurring in the Middle East because they ruled over them. And now the United States, basically from the installation of the Shah on, 
um, has prevented equilibrium from occurring in the Middle East because they've been involved and been meddling. And until the United States, until some pe- people leave them alone and let them come to whatever equilibrium they're going to come to, yeah. you're going to continue to have these problems over and over again. Yeah, absolutely. And I am telling you, as somebody who lost family, as somebody who lost friends in the military, who I watched them personally die because of you know actions that, that we, as in the military, were doing over there. I am telling you what I want, what I think is the only solution, is to get the hell out of there and never go back. Don't mess with it. Follow Reagan's advice when Reagan said in his personal diaries that if I knew the mentality of the people over there was, you know, that it is just so different from how we think in the West, I would have never gone over there in the first place. Take that advice and run with it. I'm telling you, as somebody who has personally lost people, yeah, I know it's it's a terrible thing that Americans, uh, like reporters or whoever, have been beheaded by these ISIS people. If you want to honor them, I want to honor the people that I in my own life that I've lost. Get out and leave it be. Let it get. Let it settle itself. Let it find, like Mark said, let it find its own equilibrium. That's uh, that's my thoughts on it. Stephanie, do you have any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I mean, the answer to people dying is not more people dying, no. not just throwing more people into the meat grinder and hoping the problem will resolve itself. It didn't, doesn't solve it. I think people, there's enough proof. Yeah, I mean, like you said, didn't people learn anything the last time around that there's been this war that's been ongoing for the last more than a decade that hasn't been resolved? You know, despite the idea that some people believe that Obama ended the war. No. <laughs> yeah, actually oh, yeah. Didn't. And, and that's funny, right. too. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. It, it's hilarious because just as soon as he starts pulling troops out, apparently, oh, boy, there's just another damn crisis that we got to go yeah, solve. Yeah, now you know? he's building this coalition of the willing again. Yeah. It's like the, the exact same thing that George W. Bush did. If you need more proof that Obama is just continuing all of the horrible policies of George W. Bush... Look no further than that. I mean, now I don't know what know. to say to you if you don't if you think Obama's the president of peace. You know, he's not. Uh, and I think we really have to be careful about this tribalism. Like you guys know a lot more about history than I do. I think you guys are both somewhat of history buffs. That's not my personal interest. I actually feel quite bored learning about history. But I don't think in the end, if I did learn about the history of the Ottoman Empire and the British Empire, that it really convinced me of anything different. You know, I might sound a little more informed, but I wouldn't come up with a different solution. I'm I not think that's advocate- what history is all about, Stephanie. History is all about being able to drop the proper name of the place or the person or the uh, empire into the proper slot while you're talking. And then people are like, oh, well, he must know. He knows what he's talking he about. He must know. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, at the I same time. I know what time- I'm talking about in terms of be careful of tribalism because that's what gets us into all of these things. We're all human beings and we just need to <laughs> get together and love one another, for lack of a better word, not to sound corny. What do you think about ISIS? We'll get to your calls. 855 450 Free Talk Live. <laughs> and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook, you deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world, attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money, access a vast library of books, and discuss them with your reading group, better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me, and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to any Anyone who purchases this book, call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. 
Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you got to keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidotti. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live! The live Sunday night edition of the show. Tonight, of course, you are joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. And you can call in with your thoughts, 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. We do have your calls lined up already, but you can call. And we, we're here three hours a night, 7p 7, 7 to 10p Eastern. So plenty of time to get in your thoughts. We were just talking about ISIS or ISIL. Uh, but we can talk about whatever you want. That's 855-450-3733. Mark. You know that feeling you have when you leave the dentist and it feels your teeth feel freshly polished from yes. the... From the <laughs> I love that feeling. The hygienist. Well, I've recently got that feeling from something. Indeed. It's, but it's it from, wasn't the dentist. It, it's from My Magic Mud. That and is what I got that feeling from. We all <laughs> have too. used it, and it is a great product. You can trust me because I love this product. I will continue to use this product even after their you know live reads are done. Um, I love My Magic Mud, and you can get some from MyMagicMud.com. It was created by Jessica Armand, and she's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three. And she created My Magic Mud to get her kids to brush their teeth. They had sensitive teeth, and they didn't like the taste of toothpaste. So My Magic Mud is it's a, a bentonite clay and uh, charcoal. And what it does, it goes in. It not, not only does it polish your teeth, it's, it's not terribly abrasive, but it really pot polishes your teeth and removes stains and goes in and really removes the bacteria from your mouth. Uh, that's what amazes me is, is that in the morning when I wake up, my teeth don't have a film on right. them. And uh, it just I just think it's great. Yeah, it works. Go see what biological dentist uh, Dr. Griffin Cole has to say at MyMagicMud.com. Or watch the video and or watch the video that uh, th that I'm in at MyMagicMud. Excuse me, it's Mud.FreeTalkLive.com for that video. So it's MyMagicMud.com and Mud.FreeTalkLive.com. Check it out and get this product. You will not be sorry. It's 150 applications for 25 bucks. Oh, it's so worth it. It uh, is so worth it. I love it. I've been using it for a week strong, and boy, do I feel it. It's great. 
So, and feel it and see it, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the phones. Again, the number is 855-450-3733 to get in touch with us and share your thoughts. Uh, but let's go to Brian in Wyoming. Brian, what would you like to talk about? Yeah, this is actually a, a specific question uh, for Brian. Okay. Right there, yeah. I mean, this is a really good question because um, you talk about bringing everybody together. Um, I've, I've been talking to some old friends on Facebook. Okay. And all, all they want to do is chat on the the Facebooks, right? Right. They want to use Messenger, right? Yeah. So, and, you know, I've looked into CryptoCat. Um, I just wanted to know what, what you think would be the best way that people could actually, you know, kind of chat semi-anonymously sure um it's a great it is it's a great question brian i really appreciate you asking it and of course i i host my own show uh called sovereign tech which you can find at yeah. s-o-v-r-y-n tech.com uh where i talk about this kind of issue a lot uh, and this question great technology podcast thank you yeah I, uh, by the way brian i just want to break in and say i can really relate to that i feel so annoyed by the number of co- people who contact me through facebook it's like i i actually would really like to kind of leave facebook but i feel like there are so many people who contact me through Facebook that don't really have other ways to get in touch with me. Right. And sometimes well, that, it's important. That, that, Stephanie, are you there? Yeah. Stephanie? Yeah. Th- that's the problem is I, I need to get, you know, people um, a, a way that the best way that people, I say, oh, get off Facebook. But then they say, okay, so what? And they need to download some software or what? What's the best way to do it, do you guys think? Well, Okay, there's a, there's a couple answers. I mean, obviously, the best answer is to completely leave Facebook, um, but that's probably not going to happen at this time. The network effect like, is just like so Stephanie strong. Just yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like saying, uh, you know, a few a, a couple decades ago, just stop using the phone book. Right. I mean, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So with that in mind, now it depends on what platform people are using, but you can actually make Facebook Messenger or the you can make your Facebook communiques very well encrypted and what you can do is you can use their software called pigeon um p-i-d-g-e-i-n and i will actually post the link to that um in uh, at uh, facebook.freetalklive.com on our facebook page and you could use that and actually if you are using an uh an android phone and there's software that can do this too for um uh, for os x and for ios but for the android phone there's a, it's called a chat secure And that you can log in with your Facebook credentials. And then what it does is it literally uses what's called OTR, off the record messaging, and it will uh, encrypt everything. So whatever Facebook happens to see or whatever anybody sees, it's just going to look like gibberish. Gibberish. By the way, if if you're using a smartphone, chat secure is a great way to go with that. But if you're running Pigeon, which is the chat messenger client that you can connect Facebook to, if you're running that on your computer desktop, you're going to need a plugin right. to use OTR off the record encryption. And you have to set that up. Yeah, but it's not difficult. No, it's there's literally... instructions on this uh, on the website where you can download the plugin, which you'll share on the yeah, on I'll, the Facebook page of Free Talk Live, on Facebook. How, how, how meta? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how do you how do you feel about that solution, Brian? Or are you looking for something more? Well, basically, um, yeah, uh, I can do that. How do I convince somebody else that I want to talk to? Right? Yeah, you know? right. That well, that's that, that's, that's the that's really that's really the hard part. Is like you're like, oh yeah, oh no, you need to get off Facebook. They're like, why? Oh, everything's being recorded. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, you just need to go here and do this and do that and do this and do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, these these two solutions are only a couple steps, but I totally understand what you're saying. Um, I think the best argument so far that I've seen to convince people to get away from it um, is actually using Chat Secure, like I mentioned, for Android, because the Facebook Messenger app raised so many red flags yeah. for people because it just totally takes yeah. over your phone. I uninstalled it from my phone. <laughs> right. And so so maybe that's sort of the entryway to say, hey, look, instead of using the Facebook Messenger, because because everybody, and you can just, the litany of stories saying how terrifying what Facebook Messenger, Messenger can do is, um, I think can pretty readily convince people, here, just use, we can still use Facebook, just use Chat Secure instead. And it's, it's real simple. I mean, it's beyond simple to set up. Um, okay, and and so then maybe that'll get them started. What is the link for that? Chat secure? 
here? Uh, sure. There's. A, it's called the the Guardian Project. Is actually the group that put that together. I'll link to that as well on the unfortunately the uh, the Facebook page. <laughs> it's just so funny to be saying this. Yeah. So, but um, but that's what Facebook's really great for. Is it's really great for networking and people finding you and. It's hard to argue about that. Sure, absolutely. You know, the other cool thing I like about Pigeon is that you can not only route your Facebook Messenger um, messages or chat logs through it, but you can also connect like Skype to it. So if you're concerned about Skype, which I would be concerned about Skype right. just as much as Facebook, right. uh, you can make that go through Pigeon yeah. as well. The o You know, the only other alternative, if you could actually somehow convince them to not use Facebook anymore, here is the beauty. This is the best of the best, uh, and it's my that personal... That really my question for you, Brian. Okay, <laughs> th th this is the one that I use. I, yeah, <laughs> I use this on every platform I can, and it's called Telegram, okay? And it's run by, it's actually run by an anarcho-capitalist. It's run by an anarchist. Uh, yeah, by His name's Pavel Durov from Russia. And he's making this specifically in mind to thwart governments. And it is as easy as it gets. They have it for every OS out there. They even have a web platform for it. And it is very, very secure. So look into Telegram. Uh, and Brian, I want to so, thank so you. Just, just, just Google Telegram? Yeah, Telegram app, and you'll you'll find it. I'll, I'll, I'll post that one up, too. But, uh, Brian, thank you very much for the call. Attention all listeners. Are you ready for a free stock market webinar with PillsGang.com? Join us September 13th to 12 noon Eastern for this live PillsGang.com free webinar valued at $75. You'll learn how to protect your principal in this Federal Reserve controlled low interest rate market by identifying moves before they happen. To register, simply go to LearnStocksForFree.com. LearnStocksForFree.com. Or call 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Why does a U.S. orthodontist make more than some CEOs? You get that dental bill and you'll know. Implants, partial or full bridge, the kids need braces? Fractions of U.S. prices. Balloon angioplasty for heart patients in the U.S. is $50,000. Thailand, under $7,000. Heart bypass, joint and hip replacement, cancer, many procedures under the price of your Obamacare deductible and copay. Don't risk bankruptcy. Hit us up now. We'll show you how at AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Which order you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this. Now, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait, now, wait a minute. Oh, you're pretty good at the road. 
have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show. Of course, this is a show where you can take control and call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. The number is 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Again, that's 855-450-3733. Uh, but Mark, let's see, or actually me, because mm-hmm. those, those are the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines, and so I want to tell you about ProXPN. Now, we just had a caller call in about getting some digital privacy back for him and his friends. What are easy ways to do that? Let me tell you the first, the very first step you want to take and one of the easiest steps that you can take is to get your hands on ProXPN. ProXPN is a VPN service uh, that's a virtual private network. And what this does, you'll install it on your phone. You can install it uh, on your computer, you know, Windows, OS X, even Linux. You install it and then everything, all the metadata you send back and forth is getting encrypted before it even gets to the ISPs or whatever whatever other bad actor you're concerned about, particularly when you are, say, going to an airport or when you are, uh, you know, maybe you're, you're at McDonald's. Wherever you happen to be, it will encrypt that data. Now, you still want to use that secure messaging to encrypt it from whatever server you happen to be talking on later on, but you want to get a VPN. This is step number one for getting your digital privacy. And if you use the code FTL50, you can get one of their premium accounts, get the annual premium account for 50% off. It's going to end up costing you less than, uh, than a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, gu- guaranteed and so also they love bitcoin if you use bitcoin and use the code ftlbtc you'll get 62 percent off that annual account and you got to understand now they offer it for free as well but please believe me there's lots of free vpns out there i know but if you if someone is doing the duty of paying up you know server time and uptime to encrypt your data to to be concerned about your privacy even if it were a free one that didn't take a regular payment, tell me you wouldn't donate to them. Of course you would. Of course you'd donate to them. If you weren't, I mean, come on, what kind of a, well, I won't use any pejoratives. But, <laughs> but really, you want to pay for this kind of service because it is important to your privacy overall, not just your digital privacy, because in the digital world, it's affecting our meat space more and more all the time. So go to ProXPN.com and get your hands on a great VPN service. Uh, I personally trust it. So do many of the other geeks. And uh, for once, trust the geeks. Anyway, uh, we have a special phone call. Uh, we will get to all of your phone calls. Or we're pretty much lined up, but you can still call in 855-450-3733 uh, and we'll get you on. But uh, let's go to, I believe we have Rich Paul. Rich, are you with us? Uh, tonight or next Saturday night? Oh, I think he's talking oh, to Ian. I think, okay. We'll put Rich back on yeah, hold. Yeah, we'll, we'll put Rich <laughs> on hold there. We'll have him on in just a moment. Let's go to Cody in Kentucky. Cody, are you with us? Cody. Hello? Cody, what would you like to talk about tonight? Uh, yes, sir. I just uh, I just started a nonprofit corporation. It's called uh, Progressive Paradise Incorporated. Progressive Paradise. What is the purpose of, uh, what's the idea behind it? Well, I'm going to read to you the... Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to hear your marketing material. Um, this isn't a show about calling in and, and promoting one's uh, okay. well, corporations. What I'm, trying, what I'm trying to do is build self-sustainable housing and give it away for free. Get people to copy it. Uh, I want to put the blueprints online. So like the maker like, movement. Uh, do what? Like the maker movement. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, well, I mean, people are doing this. People are making it, making things and then making it easier for other people to make things. Because, you know, creating, inventing something is hard work. Yes, sir. Well, I'm trying to bring uh, professionals and, and people together. That's that's why I wanted to throw the website out there. 
Okay, what was the name of the of, of it again? It's progressiveparadise.org. Now, the name of it, Progressive Paradise, I mean, are you kind of trying to convey a progressive ideology? No, I, I, I really just wanted to avoid getting uh, denied my nonprofit status by the federal government. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cody, that's can't actually, blame you there. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good trick. There you should have that... thrown in the word Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Cody. Yep. Thank you very much for the call, and uh, good luck with uh, with the nonprofit. I think self sustainability is a very important subject. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. People are going in lots of different directions with this, uh, the tiny house movement, and and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So now let's. I think we have Rich Paul now. Uh, Rich, are you with us? I sure am. Excellent. Hey, Rich. Rich. Uh, yeah. How are you doing, Rich? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah that, it's hard to complain to a guy in jail. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> Rich, of course, is a former is a has been a co-host of Free Talk Live in the past, but right now he's of course calling us from the Keen Spiritual Retreat, right? Oh, uh, what? Well, I'm still in jail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Um, so, Rich, what did you want to talk about? I, I, it's we're, we're honored that you're listening to us, uh, certainly, because I mean, I know you're not in like the best place on planet Earth, right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I, I really enjoyed listening to you last night. But I thought that the uh, I, I was listening via FM. That's the night that we can do that. Um, but I thought that Ross Bard was completely wrong. On his quote about children and the market for children, because he was treating children as if they were property. Okay, so Rothbard was wrong about children because he was treating children as if they were property. You're going to have to bring everybody up to date on this one first. Who's Rothbard, and what did he say, and what was the conversation last night? Okay, well, y'all had a uh, had some quotes. It was actually a. It sounded like a critic of libertarianism. Uh, Salon dot com. Yep. Um, as saying, uh, talking about um, uh, having a market for selling children and saying that um, one could uh, could fail to feed children and that that would be. Uh, legally okay under under a libertarian system, um, and I've always disagreed with with Rothbard on that because when when you talk about selling children, you can only sell something that is property. We did but talk about child, this. Um, uh, you know, we we talked about. I don't know the the Roth, the Rothbard piece didn't specifically talk about kids as uh, uh, you know selling kids, you know, selling babies. But mm-hmm. what we do see today is we see people who, we see a demand in the market for children, right? Um, mm-hmm. We see that people want them. And we see mm-hmm. that uh, specifically, um, you know, mothers who can provide babies. I'm not talking about kids that are a certain age. Um, you know, there's too, many of the, uh, there's too many of them out there and they need great homes and I wish they had them. But babies, mm-hmm. specifically white babies, People are willing to, you know, give a scholarship. And this is just terminology that they use essentially to give young mothers money to have kids for them. Mm-hmm. Well, the reason that, that I object to the terminology is, is obviously there's nothing wrong with paying the mother and adopting her child under, under libertarianism. The reason that I would not call that a fail is because it's treating the child as if the child was the parent child relationship is not ownership. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's I not. think it's I think it's stewardship. The parent child relationship is more like a trusteeship. Yeah, exactly. The child like every human owns himself but is incompetent for the moment of carrying out his responsibilities as owner. And therefore the parent is carrying out those responsibilities for him and is able to do things like you were talking about restraining the child on the, on the changing table and, and that being initiation of force. And it's not initiation of force because while that child is, is um, incompetent, you are carrying out his responsibilities as owner of himself for him. Well, you know, I think that what's um, difficult about that is, is that it's, you know, who decides competence? 
If I'm deciding competence, I would concur with you that a, you know, a one-year-old is not competent to decide who's in charge and who's not. But Here's the music. I can assure you that the state doesn't think you're competent either, and that's why they put you in jail. Uh, yeah, hold, uh, Rich, uh, hold the line if you can. Yeah, yeah. if you can stick with us, Rich, please do. I think this is a great topic. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com I just heard the best sales pitch I've heard in a long time on an airplane. The flight attendant announced, if you paid more than $75 for your round trip ticket, you overpaid. This is brilliant because everybody on the flight paid more. And I was struck by how all the road warriors stopped typing and reading and working and looked up. The announcement invited us to apply for the airline's credit card. And the sign-up bonus? Enough frequent flyer miles for a free round trip. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. With some banks offering free credit cards, $75 is an outrage for an annual fee, but a bargain for airline tickets. For more tips on communicating more effectively, hit survivalspeech.com, where you can see how I got the CEO of another major airline to shower me with freebies. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. 
the most exciting radio out there, at least in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if everybody else's opinions here, and of course, everybody else's. Well, it's me, Brian, and Stephanie, and Mark. And you can call in. Uh, our phone lines are loaded up, and we've actually got a special call we're going to get right to with uh, Rich Paul calling from the Keene Spiritual Retreat, otherwise known as jail, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but you can call in, 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Again, 855-450-3733. Um, but let's go ahead. We're, we're actually we're talking uh, to Rich, and he is... Uh, debating one of the really one of the libertarian luminaries, perhaps the biggest of all time, uh, arguably, and that is uh, Murray Rothbard and his opinion on uh, children and that they he kind of sees them as property. And now he's not really... actually debating Rothbard because Murray's dead. Right. But, uh, he's, he's debating, debating the, the ideology of, of Rothbard. And uh, Rich, are you are you back with us? Yeah, sure. Uh, excellent. OK, so. We were talking about how the, the fact that, you know, you feel that a parent, and I totally agree with you on this, Rich, that parents, or proper parenting is stewardship, not ownership. It's like a trusteeship, I, I believe was the word you used, Rich, and I really, I, I totally agree with you on that. Um, but Rothbard often talked about children more as being, uh, as being property. Uh, now you know I got to say, Rich, I'm I'm very much with you on this because I think it's very it's odd that the way we describe ourselves, the way we describe property in general, is by saying, well, it all comes from the fact that we own ourselves, but then we're really calling ourselves property in that way. So I don't find mm -hmm. it I don't find it shocking that people have no problem seeing children uh, as property. But you were getting into the finer point, and I want to hear your rebut. Uh, to, to Rothbard's ideology about the fact that holding a kid down while wiping its butt is somehow, you know, an aggression against them. Do you, so, do you want to talk more about that, Rich? Uh, yeah. Well, my answer would be: I mean, first off, we can we can look at something that I think we'd all agree upon, which is um, when my girlfriend was dying of cancer. Once she'd lapsed into a coma, I was her caregiver, and I was charged at her request with making medical decisions for her. Right. So, and this gets into your saying, can you put a child down who is sick? Can, can, you, uh, can you basically put them to sleep like you, would, like you would a dog? And I would say that I should have had the right at that time, although under current law, I don't, to say, okay, Julie is, is suffering. She's clearly not going to recover. Let's, let's euthanize her. And I believe that I should have had that right, um, because she basically granted me that right explicitly. Now, that doesn't happen with children, because children aren't able to understand or grasp or actually grant that right explicitly. But I think we have to assume, in the case of a newborn, that the parent starts out with kind of an implicit trusteeship. Um, but that the, the parent is required to exercise that trusteeship in a way that is at least arguably in the best interest of the child. So you right now, a, par right a parent example. can, if a baby, it, let's say an infant is like really not doing well, is on a ventilator or whatever, is on life support. They the can remove them from can life support. Remove them from life support, right? But it's only when it gets to that extreme where it's but like considered acceptable. To... Euthanasia is something a little different than mm -hmm. that. Humans yeah. are very, uh, very resilient creatures. Uh, um, I mean, we yeah. we survive, mm. and uh, that's you know, the, <laughs> as opposed to taking us off life support. There's another step where if somebody's in terrible pain or uh, you know, not going to live long or something, uh, you know, they may choose to euthanize themselves. Now, this is legal in many countries around the world, and I think, like, Oregon or Washington. It's or also illegal. It's also legal to abort a fetus because you found out that they have Down syndrome or something. It certainly is. It's legal to abort a fetus for any reason at all. Right. And, and Because you just don't want it. Right. Yeah. Rich, your Down thoughts? Si Down syndrome is one of those thoughts. Rich? Um, yeah, go, go ahead. Well, the point in me saying that, well, the reason I brought those cases up is that in some cases, people do consider it socially acceptable or whatever, or morally acceptable to terminate the life of a very young human being, like a fetus or an infant. Um, and it just, at some point, you know, it becomes unacceptable to them. And it 
to a certain extent, you could make the argument that it's a little bit arbitrary at what age and under what circumstances it becomes kind of a slippery slope of when it when is it OK? Yeah. Rich, yeah, do you have any well, thoughts on that? that? Once the child is born, that, you know, although if, if the child was terminally ill or, or severely ill, it might be OK to in, if it was in pain, but it might well be, in, be OK to euthanize it. But a healthy child, for example, you certainly could not, although what you could do would be abandon your parental responsibility and let somebody else take it over. Yeah, I think that and I think that's absolutely true. And the and the difficulty of the sort of the Rothbard situation where he's talking about what should be legal and what shouldn't be legal is you cannot legislate good parenting. Mm. You just can't make right. no. you, you can't write things on paper and make people good parents. Yeah, I think this is a big thing here, Mark, because and, and, and people have called in about this before and said, well, you know, what is the contract? What are the responsibilities of a parent? Look, the instant that you are putting the relationship between two be- human beings, like, you know, the loving relationship, which one would assume, I mean, that a child came out of love. Of Let's hope that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right. That Then you start laying down terms like contract and all this stuff. I think there is a gross misunderstanding of the human condition the mm-hmm. instant you start applying contracts to love, uh, in my opinion, or or to, to care and things like that. I, I, I don't, maybe we don't even have an answer or better terms to describe these relationships. I don't know. Um, but I think it's a, I, I agree with Rich Paul that, uh, yeah, Rothbard is pretty off base. So, uh, Rich, did yeah. you have anything else? Um, not really, but what you were saying about it, I don't think the contract is necessarily the right word, but there is certainly a, a set of responsibilities that are unique between a parent and a child. And I think those would have to be worked out over time, um, just like all of the other finer points of the NAP. Sure, would come that's the non-aggression principle. And, and arbitrators and the NAP. Um, sure, yeah, I agree. It's something that has to be explored, and I think we need to explore it beyond terms that we, that maybe that we don't even have right now. Uh, because you know we've never really had, other than in prehistoric times, maybe we've never really had a you know a, a non-governmented society, uh, and so these well, things deserve sure. exploration. So, Rich, thank you very much uh, yeah. for calling in, and uh, best of luck. Hang to in you. there, Rich. We yeah, hope you're out soon. Do. Thanks. Great talking to you guys. Likewise. You too. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. That's the uh, the number where you can call in to. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. And this really is a radio show where, obviously, boy, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about, uh, clearly. So let's go ahead and that go to... That was a great the, discussion. I agree. Yeah. And it's one that deserves a lot of discussion. I have a lot of... Uh, it's, it's an idea I've been exploring quite a bit personally myself um, very recently. Mm-hmm. Because I think the idea... Me of thinking of myself as property, as in I own myself, uh, rubs me the wrong way. In, in, in a very real sense. So, uh, but let's go ahead. Let's go to the phone lines. Uh, we still have them loaded up, but you can call in 855-450-3733. We have Pat in Kansas. Pat, what would you like to talk about? You're on Free Talk Live. Oh, praise the Lord. Um, hi, my name is Pat. Um, I have a first time caller. Welcome. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. I have a couple questions. Um, I listened to your show. You guys often speak about uh, Christianity. Um, it, it it comes up. Um, you yeah, know, I people can see call why you say that, Pat. <laughs> it does come up quite often. We try. We, I mean, we try not to make every show about religion, but sometimes we we get calls and then we get on the topic, and everybody's got something to say about it. Well, um, I have a question, um, and, and you guys were uh, talking about um, encryption. Um, and, and I was wondering if there's a way to, um, encrypt my prayers to Jesus. Um, there, well, there's gotta be an app okay. for that. <laughs> well, here, here's the first step would well, be. Well, Acts is very clear that, uh, that, that you shall uh, speak in the tongues of, uh, men and of angels. So I would think angels, yeah. angels oh, okay. speak would well, encrypt them. Angels speak might, but actually the real problem here is that, like in Catholicism, actually your prayers go through Mary first, and any time you have a man in the middle, she's kind of like a VPN. That's yeah. the Mary in the middle attack. Yeah, the Mary. That's a Mary in the middle attack, and so you need to you need to get rid of the mediatrix uh, if you're going to you know if you're going to get a direct 
connection. And that's really the first step to encryption. I mean, is getting the Pope a direct is connect. the only one yeah. who really has yeah. that, right? Yeah, but I'm worried about the Pope because, I mean, if he's like got that direct line, it's he like is susceptible to bullets. <laughs> and well, that's problem, very disconcerting. Um, I just, um, I don't want T Bone, my boyfriend. Um, you know what I'm praying about. Understandably, <laughs> I, I understand, Pat. It is a, it is a spirit. Yeah, uh, spiritual encryption is uh, is really something. So, uh, thank you very much for the call. <laughs> we'll be back with more free talk live. You can call in eight five five four five zero three seven. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, the music is- higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, September 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.22 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,269 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $487. Antiwar.com reports, It's now been well over a day since the Ukrainian government and eastern Ukrainian rebels agreed to a Russian-brokered ceasefire. And while both sides are claiming violations by the other, the ceasefire seems to be holding. The rebels noted some rocket fire against positions on the outskirts of the rebel capital of Donetsk, which the government chalked up to a provocation. The government claimed some rebel artillery fire later in the day near Maripol. Neither incident seems to have done serious harm, though both sides seem to be trying to test the limits of the ceasefire agreement while simultaneously portraying the other side as the primary violator. The truce, assuming it continues to hold, should give way to more discussion on the final settlement terms, which are expected to include increased autonomy for the East and a retraction of the government's ban on the use of Russian language in official business. Russian is the primary language in the East, and the move to ban it was what kicked off major unrest in the region after the formerly Eastern-dominated government was overthrown earlier in the year by Western protesters. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Reuters reports, supporters of Scottish independence have taken their first opinion poll lead since the referendum campaign began, which indicates a real possibility that they might win, according to a YouGov survey for the Sunday Times newspaper. 
With less than two weeks to go before the September 18th vote, the poll put the yes to independence campaign on 51% against the unionist on 49%, overturning a 22-point lead for the unionist campaign in just a month. The paper announced the headline results in a news release ahead of the publication, but gave no further details of the poll. YouGov later said on its website that the results excluded those who would not vote and those who do not yet know. With those groups added, secessionists would be on 47% and unionists would be at 45%. It said that the poll, conducted after pro-independence leader Alex Salmond was widely judged to have won the second of two televised debates, amounts to a statistical dead heat at the moment. The last poll was the first to represent a real possibility for a yes win, it added in a preliminary statement which gave no further details on the survey. After months of surveys showing nationalists heading for defeat, Recent polls have been showing the gap narrowing to the extent that they raise the real prospect that secessionists, led by Salmon's Scottish National Party, could achieve their goal of breaking the 307-year-old union with England. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports, President Barack Obama on Saturday delayed executive action on immigration until after the congressional midterm elections. The president had originally told reporters at the end of NATO's summit in Wales on Friday that he intended to take action on reshaping the United States immigration system without congressional approval before November. The decision not to take action sooner is a reversal of Obama's vow in June to move forward on immigration reform before the end of summer after the House said it would not vote on a bill this year. White House officials said executive action could anger conservatives across the country and could hamper Democratic efforts to retain control of the Senate during the midterm elections. A White House official said, because of the Republicans' extreme politicization of the issue, the president believes it would be harmful to the policy itself and to the long-term prospects for comprehensive immigration reform to announce administrative action before the elections. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Take the Field's mission is to inform baseball players that physical activity is nothing to be scared of, that a little bit of running can be fun. Now, Rebecca, this obesity problem is nothing new. Well, right. There is a culture of obesity in baseball that has been around for years. I mean, coaches even sub in healthy pinch runners instead of encouraging their overweight players to hustle, depriving them of the only cardiovascular exercise they might have a chance to get. And a lot of these athletes have been playing baseball since they were kids. Well, right. So they might have never learned any healthy habits. Baseball is fine in moderation. But many of these men spend over 200 days a year playing it, and that adds up. The program encourages players once an hour to take a 15-minute break from baseball to do something active, like go up and down some stairs, go for a walk, or play some basketball. All right, well, thanks, Rebecca. If you're a baseball coach and you're worried about your player's health, go to takethefield.gov for a list of healthy activities and nutritious snacks. Coming up next, does America brains get worse hearing words correct? This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show here for you. Yes, 100% live, as live as you can get. We are out there on the radio waves and on the internets. And, of course, you can uh, call in. Of course, our, our phone lines right now are absolutely loaded up, but you can still call in 855-450-3733, or you can get in touch with us via Skype. I haven't mentioned that all night long. Uh, but our handle is lrn.fm. We just have to get your contact request. If you've already done that, you're all set, and you can uh, get in touch with us that way. And the yes, of course, tonight is me, Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. And why don't we go ahead and get right to these phone calls. But, again, you can call in, 855-450-3733, the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Let's go to uh, – some of them have been very patiently waiting. Uh, we have David in South Carolina. Uh, David, you're on Free Talk Live. What would you like to talk about? Thank you again for waiting as well. Hello, Brian, Stephanie, and Mark. Appreciate the program. Um, 
tonight I'd like to continue to talk about the uh, ISIS situation. Sure. Uh, what it appears uh, to be happening is a monster that we help create is basically inviting us to a slaughter. Uh, that's why they are begging us to come there, if you will, with ground troops, which we shouldn't do. Okay, I'm totally now, with you on this as a monster that the United States has uh, definitely helped create, no doubt about it. So what do you mean by it? It sounds like you're saying it's a trap. You want to elaborate, elaborate it's a trap. on that? It's a trap. It's dark. Uh, yeah, yeah. if we were to uh, put uh, troops on the ground over there, I, I don't think we would be able to fight them because they are not, if you will, a nation-state type military that we're used to fighting. So I don't think we do good on that. Yeah, David, you know, I think you raise a great point. And the reason I want to say that is that a lot of people feel that the United States military is this incredibly compassionate force. Um, as a one-time member of that organization, I would say that's not entirely accurate. Uh, but an organization that was particularly brutal was the Army of the, or the, the Armed Services of the USSR. And they could not do anything in this area as far as controlling it. It was just a constant uh, battle that certainly helped in bankrupting that entire Republic and yes, the USSR was a republic. Uh, so, David, what, I mean, do you have any further thoughts on that? Uh, yes. Um, uh, another monster that I see in this picture are some of these uh, our so-called leaders here in the United States and some of the members of the media that, regardless of what the president says or doesn't say, is dissected. I mean, to the extent where they're making reference to his speech cadence and they can continue to compare him to other, uh, if you will, world leaders, as, as if they're looking for their great white hope, anyone will do but this man, I mean, to elevate Putin over our president, and then to give, uh, Tony, not Tony Blair, but uh, David Cameron high accolades, high accolades for, you know, increasing the uh, threat level. That, I mean, it's like, I'm not besmirching Mr. Cameron, but aren't we committing more uh, resources to that effort than he is. So, Mark, do you have thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, so when I look at this, um, uh, I would agree with you that it seems like, um, you know, some folks are going against Obama as much as they possibly can. However, um, I, I, you know, it's not a, I, I don't have a dog in this race. As far as I'm concerned, the Republicans and the Democrats have made this bad up to this point. Uh, what's going on with uh, ISIS in the Middle East isn't new. It didn't start under Obama. It didn't start under Bush. Oh, I'd say it's 100 years old. Uh, well, I mean, I think the U.S. is only responsible from maybe, maybe the— Maybe 50. Yeah, maybe, yeah late, yeah, late, late, late 40s, early 50s. Yeah. But that's more than a half a century, and there's a lot of presidents uh, prior to— Reagan, even, um, that are responsible for this. So uh, I think it's just people trying to say all the Republicans are trying to do is get a Republican in in 2016. That's what their job is. And their job is to say whatever it takes to do that. And the Democrats' job, I mean, Obama's saying that he's not going to move on this amnesty thing until after the election. Why do you suppose he's doing that? Why does he want Central American kids to suffer? The reason is is because he believes that he can get one or two more seats in the Senate. And it's all about politics. And until you remove the politicians from politics, you're not going to... It's It's not... That's the problem. Or until you put them on the quote-unquote front lines and say, hey, buddy, you first. Yeah. If you want to climb that mountain, you go for it. Uh, David, I, I mean, agree with you. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I agree with you on, on those points, but what I, I get so upset when it's like we are telegraphing to, if you will, our opposition, Russia, how much we hate this man, basically saying you can do whatever you want and we'll lift you up and we'll smash our own president. David, thank you very much for your thoughts tonight. Uh, let's go ahead. We've got another person who's been very patiently waiting, uh, Gerald. Gerald, uh, you're on Free Talk Live. What would you like to talk about? Well, a couple of comments. First time listener, I was uh, glad to have you on board. Des Moines now, east of Des Moines now. Thank you. And a uh, couple of comments. First of all, on the comparison of Obama to Bush, obviously they're both politicians. I'm not a Bush fan per se, but you can at least say that he was a patriot or is a patriot. Whereas I believe Obama is doing everything in his power to, as he says, reinvent or reorganize uh, our great 
United States of America. What does patriot mean to you? Patriot means you do anything and everything you can for the betterment of our country and our people. So uh, what's a country? Because I have a difficult time with this, too. I don't believe in the term patriot. Well, so, well I, a, country, a country is, is a uh, border filled with people of like uh, ideals and uh, ways of life. So Not a country is a geopolitical uh, mass. So what happens if someone's right. within the geopolitical boundary but doesn't have like ideals? What would that look like? Well, that's where ISIS comes in. And, and you all are saying that, that we need to, to play nice and sit around and, and uh, roast s'mores on the fire and sing Kumbaya with ISIS and get along? That's exactly that's what I'm saying. Work, I'm yeah. talking about Kumbaya. Uh, I have spent that, that more than a decade of my life so. becoming a radio professional so that I can come on and I can be some kind of stupid democratic cho- trope for you. That's exactly what I've done with my life, sir. Well, I, I think that'll work until, until ISIS puts a butcher knife. You guys forget that Daniel Pearl was executed uh, about 10 years ago, and I made the mistake oh, I don't of forget. watching that video. Yeah, it's yeah, awful. Well, some people have, because some people you know, say that it's the second journalist. Well, it's actually the third, but I actually, being an ex-Marine and, and a history teacher for most of my life, I uh, made the mistake of watching that video, and I can say it, it's actually... You know, I would prefer the guillotine or, or uh, samurai sword any day. The guillotine's a very uh, humane way to execute somebody if you're going to do it. It's Gerald, uh, yeah, Gerald, I'm also, I'm, I'm ex-military. I was in the Army, and just my opinion on it is that any action that we could possibly take over there, uh, as and when I say we, I mean the military, uh, would just fan this fire way more. Um, and, mo- and bringing more people over there is just going to be more death. That's all any action, any foreign policy action that the U.S. has ever taken has just brought on more death, including the very recent beheadings that have occurred. Uh, yeah, and, they were not prevented yeah, by the last 10 years of mil- no, 10 my, years my of military No, my military actions action. over there had uh, solved clearly nothing, and I am nothing less than insulted um, at the idea that somehow more would solve this. Well, and, I, and I'm not saying more. I'm saying less. I'm saying you send over, you know, scatter some some special teams, some force marine cons, some scout snipers, some green berets, drop them in and, and let them just wreak havoc. Yeah. Why not empty the prisons they instead? Do what they do. I mean, there's what this What's this that? country this country's incarcerated more people than any other country on oh, the planet has ever done in history. Why not take the prisoners? Incarceration is a joke unless you send them to Cuba. What you think incarceration in the United States is nice? Yeah. What What do you mean? You're you're speaking to someone who spent some time in prison, which is Mark. Right. I I, I spent nine years in prison, and I've got to say that I I never saw anybody trying to get back in. Believe it or not, I have actually been in jail overnight once here and and a few days in a Mexican jail. It's not pretty. Mexican jail's got to suck. Yeah, it does. These people are, are out for the destruction of anybody that's not Muslim, and even some of those Muslims. Some Muslims are out for that, and I, you know, maybe these ISIS folks are that way, but I think that it forwards the conversation yeah. towards that when we array ourselves against them. Absolutely. Gerald, thank you very much for the call and your thoughts. Uh, yeah, I think you know, you send anybody over there. You, you, any country that gets involved over there is just creating recruitment tapes for groups. Perpetuating that, the violence. For violent groups, exactly. You can call in 855-450-3733. Kumbaya. Free Talk Live. <laughs> Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. 
Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Our education system is, frankly, government-run, government-funded, and we're dumbed down. You could could go down the laundry list of the different things that people would admit that the government did wrong or botched up or cost way too much, and it still doesn't have any effect on them. They still just bounce right back and say, well, we need government to do all these things. Yes, they make some mistakes. Yes, they spend billions of dollars too much. Sure, they kill innocent people around the world, but we need them. (laughs) We have to have them do these things. I find it quite amazing that, you, you know, they say the first thing they seem to do is, like, I'll turn to government. They've got the solution somehow. Yep. Goodness knows That's happens. what they've been programmed to do by programmed the government thing, schools. Exactly. Brainwashed, absolutely brainwashed. And they're so dumb about it. They believe it's the case. However, you, you then ask the next question, if you, if you dare to, is uh, you say, well, OK, well, would you trust any politicians? And the first answer is no way. Right. right. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the Internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show, and boy, we might as well call this the ISIS edition, since that <laughs> seems to be the uh, the topic of the night, and so it is, because you can take control of the airwaves here. You want to talk about something, doesn't matter what it is, you can talk about it. 855-450-3733 is the ProXPN toll-free call in line. Again, that's 855-450-3733, and we'll get to your calls in a moment, but Mark. Get a pound of coffee for free. It's some of the best coffee you'll ever taste. It's BuzzBox coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. Now, they at BuzzBox, they have a different thing about what they call fair trade. What they, they fit into the category of fair trade, but they actually create coffee co-ops where families can, uh, you know, start their own little coffee farm on their property and work into their coffee co-op. It is a different kind of thing than what uh, we might call fair trade. But I looked into it because I think that fair trade is basically just unionizing the coffee uh, industry and other countries and excluding people. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that it may just be a marketing scam of sorts. Yeah, the, and there's that too. So uh, what they do is something entirely different. But they really do have a commitment to people around the world. And they, um, you know, we're able to give for every 10 people that sign up at, to can continue to get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. We're able to give another microloan to another family so that they can buy 
whatever it is that they need. And we're doing that now through Kiva. That will actually start tomorrow. So if you uh, order your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we're changing organizations. I've actually donated to Kiva myself. Uh, I'm a fan. Yeah, it's uh, it's microloans. You can get that money back out, Brian, once they pay it back. Yeah. So it's not, not even really a, a, a donation in the same way. Now, I put money in uh, years ago, and I've added to it and uh, just kept rolling it back in because yeah. I think I can help more people, and I like that. So coffee.freetalklive.com. All right. Uh, again, you well, can... let's real quick address uh, the last caller because I, um, I I think that a lot of people, especially first time listeners, don't know what they're hearing on Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is we believe that peace, freedom and personal responsibility are the best solutions to problems around the world and at home. So we, you know, we tend not to believe that the United States military can solve problems. And, you know, mostly that's been borne out. There have been a couple of instances, you know, where I think Japan and Germany, these are pretty good instances, but there's are countries there. Maybe. Uh, now you can't say, um, you know, I mean, when was the last time the United States was at war with a country? Right. I, the Taliban sort of dropped its weapons and ran away. Iraq, I, you know, I mean, whatever that war was, Bush was right that mission was accomplished, but they couldn't keep the peace, not by a long shot. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people recognize freedom when they see it, and freedom has answers to things. And the important thing to remember is that, you know, freedom, it's not a light switch. It doesn't go on and off. It's either always on or it just might as well have stay to fight off. It. People have to fight for it. This is a country that had its revolution for its independence. And why in the world would you try to shove independence down somebody else's throat if they don't want it? Oh, I Also, think... the term patriotism, what is that? It's pride in something somebody else has done. It's pride in pride where you in were born. Being born in a certain area which doesn't i mean you you haven't chosen that right i don't hate america i just don't see any particular reason why I, I, you know why is somebody else lesser than i right it's like what's the virtue in being born in a certain town or like liking a certain sports team or something right there's no real choice involved in that it's just where you happen to be born yep but that that is the sports team that i like i, I like my you know, <laughs> yeah. it's the one close to my house that yeah. i was born in <laughs> well let's get to the calls um we have Gary in Canada. Uh, Gary, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Hi, what would you like to talk about, Hello. Gary? Uh, you guys seem to have a brain in your head, so I'd like Honor, to know, thank you. <laughs> uh, how does somebody who doesn't have access to the Internet or doesn't want it deal with stuff like uh, Bitcoin or or anything like that. Is there some kind of a network where we can go and and other than the internet? That's an interesting uh, question because there have been some people who you know want to use Bitcoin in remote areas where there really isn't good internet access. Um, there are ways to send and receive Bitcoins using just um, feature phones. You know, phones that can receive text messages. There are some services that let you do that. Yeah. Um, and then there's also the idea of mesh networking, where people basically create their own internet. By right, but he's making it pretty clear he doesn't necessarily want like an internet. Did I get that right, Gary? Yep. So you don't want you you pretty much don't want computers in in, been, in your I've life. I've shut off the internet because I put on too much uh, security. So my internet providers just told me. You either cancel your security or we we will not service you. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm so, sorry to hear about that. All right. That. So so do you still do you still want to use computers or do you want computers out of the way? Yeah. To hell with them. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, honestly, you know, Gary, I think a lot of people hearing this might think you sound ridiculous. I don't think you sound ridiculous. Uh, in fact, one of uh, a real hero of mine, Steve Gibson, who is. Uh, a major talk about security. This is a guy that runs security now in GRC. I mean, he's one of the biggest, you know, uh, security heads out there as far as with the computers and internet and all of that. And he said, if you knew exactly what I was talking about for the past 10 years, you'd go run off to a cave and toss your computer out the window and set it on fire. Now there's okay? a statement. Yeah. yeah, sure. And this is coming from a guy that loves this stuff right now. Yeah, sure. And, and, you know, and seriously, Gary, uh, I don't blame you. 
Okay, I really don't. And I'm a tech guy as well. I run my own tech show. I know the deal. Uh, and, and I don't blame you. But I don't, sadly, Gary, I, I hate to say it, I don't think that there's necessarily a solution for that right now. I think there needs to be. This is a critique I have of Bitcoin in that it does not address things like you're talking about. Uh, now, Well, there, actually, there is a way to use Bitcoins completely offline. With radio. No, I was thinking of um, paper wallets, basically. So what you can have is Bitcoins live on the Internet, basically. You don't actually hold a Bitcoin in your hand uh, or on your phone or on your computer. It's They're all on the Internet. Uh, it's just the blockchain, which Bitcoin is depends on, is a record of which addresses the Bitcoins are in or associated with at any given time. Yeah, so, so essentially what you can do you... is create a, an address and your private key, which is kind of like your pass, password, and um, well, then I'd need another one of them weird phones. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Line. You wouldn't necessarily need that, actually. Well, I think what you're saying, Stephanie, is that you could you could, in theory, turn Bitcoin into paper money. Yeah, you can and, take and, it. You can take it offline, and not even necessarily made out of paper. You can store the ability to access Bitcoins on a physical token, like they have those. Have you ever read articles about Bitcoin, and they'll often have those pictures of like gold coins with like a B on them. Those are called physical bitcoins, and what that's exactly what I described, where you basically are sure, encoding coins. The, the information to access bitcoins right. in yeah, an so, offline format. Okay, so you're right. There is a way to, at some point, have these have bitcoins be kind of offline. It would certainly be a very special case. But uh, if you wanted to buy anything, you'd have to spend the exact amount that you have. Like, you can't really break those up. Well, that's why I'd say you could make paper, like, just make a bunch of pretty much Bitcoin dollar bills. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the more interesting aspect is to look into perhaps things like radio technology where blockchains could be transmitted with that. Um, and have, They're putting one up on a satellite, right? Yeah, or, or just currency, I think, needs to be more We're regional anyway. off the topic here. Well, okay, uh, we'll hold you over real quick, and I, I want to just uh, have you finish up your thoughts, Gary. Just hold the line, and uh, you can call in 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe ten grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show. You can call in with your thoughts, 855 450 And we're going to get back to Gary's call here in just a moment. He's asking about Bitcoin without the Internet, and it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, but tonight, of course, you're joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. But if you do have Bitcoin and you want to use it, one place you can go is modup.net. That's M-O-D-U-P dot net. And what they offer at modup.net is is some of the highest quality modafinil you can get. Uh, And what what do you do with modafinil? Well, it's tablets that you can take if you're needing focus, if you're feeling fatigued, trying to get that extra edge. I mean, this is something students use it all around the world. One in five students, according to according to some studies, businessmen use it. Uh, You know, it's it's a cognitive enhancer. Uh, And also, you know, I mean, they make it very affordable. Uh, It's 80 to 85 percent lower uh, than the brand name. Uh, in price. Know, yeah, in price that you can get. Uh, but it's still got that purity and potency. Uh, so, you know, modup.net, it's a worldwide company. They ship worldwide. Free Talk Live is a worldwide radio station. Uh, and, show. Yeah, show. <laughs> their radio station is a radio show. I get confused with LRN.FM. Uh, they're, they're so intertwined. They know? are. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, you know, check with your uh, local, you know, local prescription laws wherever you happen to be around the world. Uh, but check out modup.net if you want to get your hands on some modafinil. Uh, and use the code FTL, and you can, you'll get 10 free tablets uh, with your order. And if you use Bitcoin, you'll get a 33% discount for that. So head over to modup.net for your modafinil needs. Uh, anyway, let's get back to Gary. Gary, are you with us? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so now at the end of that, we were kind of discussing like how, you know, some theoretical ways, albeit they did definitely sounded pretty troublesome, uh, theoretical ways to, you know, you didn't want, you don't want to use the internet. I don't, I don't blame you. Uh, and, but, you know, but what do you do with Bitcoin about that? And you said we had kind of gotten off the topic. So if you want to yeah, kind of hone Bitcoin us in. Bitcoin was just an example. Okay. To say, what can we do without the internet? Right. Uh, is there any smart guys out there who are trying to set up a system where people can live without the internet? I don't think they are. Um, you know, I mean, we know what that life, that world's like, and anyone can access it anytime they want. What do you oh, yeah. want? I can walk up to a, a cafe or a library and go on a computer and access the internet. No, no, I meant you can access the life without the internet. Anyone can have that. Yeah, but but what I'm trying to get through is, uh, like, why do we need it? Communication? I mean, the so jazz. Many reasons. The, I, I mean, we the don't jasmine need revolution it. in in Egypt was pretty powerful. Yeah, 
on how many people died. Well, I, sure. I, you, you know, Gary, how many people I, died under Stalin. They didn't have the internet then. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Gary, I, I hear you. You know, do we need the internet? I, I don't think it's an unfair question to ask. You, you know, is it necessary? Uh, what are the benefits? Honestly, it hasn't been in society. It hasn't been a part of society long enough, in my opinion, to really know to weigh to totally weigh out the you know the the, the cost benefit analysis of it. Um, but no, yeah, Gary, I definitely I agree. I have to agree with Mark where he said that you know is anybody setting this sort of thing up not that i'm aware of there's certainly plenty of people setting up uh you know ways for computers to communicate on their own without the internet but i don't know of anybody doing anything where there's no computers involved at all uh at least i don't personally that doesn't mean they don't exist well, how would you know about it? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, they're not well, advertising. Th- there, there's some people uh, at MadeSafe that are creating a situation where the Internet will not be controlled by, uh, you know, corporations, multinationals, uh, you know, the government, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would actually argue that the Internet as it stands today is a very inefficient and may be harmful as it is, but that doesn't mean, I'm not saying that about computers in general. So, uh, Gary, did you have any other thoughts? Oh, no. Thank you, sir. Okay, yeah, thank you very much for the call. Uh, I appreciate that. You know, I mean, I actually, I kind of like those questions. I mean, because you don't, when do you hear that? You don't think about it otherwise. Yeah, you, you don't. I mean, I, I, I don't mind it. Uh, and I explore that sometimes on my own show, admittedly. So uh, anyway. Well, you know, it's like anything. I mean, like you start to get into these kind of first world problems where we're like, oh, the Internet's doing all these bad things for our life. And really, like, if you're talking about people in Africa who don't even have access to like data connections or like internet at all, like obviously it would be, it would be better if they had the option to access it if they wanted to. Like sure. that's what freedom is about, just having more choices. Everybody should have as many choices as they can and then decide what to do with them on their out of their own volition. And yeah. so of course, we should have a choice to use the Internet or not, but we should have the choice to use it or sure, not. <laughs> sure. And just another project I'll bring up really quick is uh, OuterNet, which I'm really excited about. This actually uses KU Band to transmit essentially the best of the Internet, like Wikipedia hmm. uh, and other things. Who decides what's the best? Uh, the people do. It, it's all it's all decided by vote of mm-hmm. what people want up there. Uh, and so, you know, I mean, certainly if Wikipedia alone is available to every part of the world via KU Band, which also Free Talk Live is available be to huge. a good chunk yeah. of the uh, world via yeah. KU Band. Well, we heard another from thing. people in Africa. Actually. Wikipedia is a really great example of what the Internet's great about. Yes. You can, <laughs> you know, the when, when I was a kid in the 1980s, we didn't have the Internet. And, you you know, the smart guy, if you knew enough things about enough people uh, and enough stuff, enough p- person, places, or things, you were a superhero. They, they, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the villains in the DC universe is called Brainiac. His power is being smart and stuff. I can now access the sum total of human knowledge on my phone from my pocket. Brainiac's power is also to be able to connect. Uh, control uh, interconnected systems and take over the world. There you go. So that's kind of an argument against it. <laughs> but, but no, Brain, you're right. Brainiacs you're right. the government. No, knowledge <laughs> is power. I mean, certainly, you know, and knowledge when empowers you. It's not, I, I don't even like the term that it's power. It empowers you. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's go to the phones. We still got them load up, loaded up. And of course, you can call in 855-450-3733. We've got Zach in Chicago. Zach, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. What would you like to talk about? All right. So I am um, a young, liberty-minded individual, I guess you can call me. All okay. right. Um, I live in the Chicago area, and my problem that I've been having a lot, um, I know you guys have talked about this before, kind of like sounding uh, cynical and like an, uh, negative whenever you talk about freedom to people. I'm having, tr- I'm having trouble getting my message out to people without sounding kind of cynical and mean you know, yeah like i don't know if you yeah well what uh give us an example of your elevator pitch like if i was just maybe a girl you were talking to in a coffee shop or something what would you what would you say and i said oh what's a libertarian what's that um something along the lines of uh we are people who support individual freedom and uh we are we oppose any kind of government control in the sense that we want to be free to choose what we want to do and we don't want people to tell us what we can and can't do um, as long as it doesn't hurt other people. Well, that sounds great. How could you argue with that? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It's it's not like the basic pitch. It's, It's people usually agree with something like that, but it's more of like the 
the more educated people who are kind of anti-liberty that I'll talk to, and rather than having a constructive conversation, we'll have a big argument where it ends up like, it's worth it's worse with my mom, where it's kind of just a screaming match where she's like, oh, you know, you're so stupid, you know, this yeah. is ridiculous. All right. Well, you know, Zach, like, I mean, people like that. OK, well, he, here's here's the here's my opinion on how to do this is because liberty is an individual thing. I mean, you, you just said it in, in your in what I thought was a really great pitch. Um, and so you have to really the best way to deliver it to people is for you to be as knowledgeable as possible. Not everybody's a great communicator. I'm not saying that you're not, um, but not everybody is. But the best thing you can have is just as much knowledge about pretty much anything that you can, like Mark was saying, be, you know, Brainiac, have the Wikipedia, all the good stuff. Okay. And because when you do that, when you have that much knowledge, you can find the ways, the pinholes that personally apply the values of liberty to the conversation that you're having. That said, the other point is, is that there are just some people who honestly are going to just get so frustrated at the end, especially if you're very educated about it and you've kind of got them cornered, uh, proverbially, even if you're doing it in a nice way. Uh, it, it can be well, a problem. You have to ask questions if you want somebody to come around. Uh, you know, your questions have to be framed well. You sure. have to, of course, use the right tone of voice. This is ex extraordinarily important because, you know, ultimately, we're just worried about what other people think about us. And yeah. if you're using the wrong tone of voice, you're the bad guy. Yeah. Zach, thank you very much for the call. Very important question. Edge of Free Talk Live. And I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets like the best selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the fields is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. 
But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. The live Sunday night edition of the show. Of course, tonight you are being hosted by Brian and Stephanie and Mark. And oh you my, can call- Mark is such a great hostess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he is quite beautiful. I must with say. the mostest. Thank that, you. Right? <laughs> like Beetlejuice, uh, or that was the ghostess with the mostest, right? <laughs> Uh, anyway, you can call in 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call in line. Again, 855-450-3733. And, uh, boy, I mean, the phones have been loading up all night long, and they still are. So let's, That's Free Talk Live. That's Free Talk Live, and that's what you do. You take control, and let's let, uh, is it Jose in Michigan take control here? Jose, are you with us? Yes, good evening. Uh, thank you for taking my call. I enjoy the program very much. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Intelligent comments and intelligent colors. I wanted to expand a little bit on on the question of ISIS, if I may. Please. Uh, first, first of all, um, there is a big problem uh, uh, coming from the U.S. I think that uh, the biggest problem is how we look at some uh, things from a partisan point of view. It used to be a tradition that uh, foreign policy would normally stop at the shore, but in uh, after just shortly around Vietnam era, especially after, especially the, during the uh, Second Gulf War, this tradition just con- has basically collapsed. And I don't think we are going to solve this problem if we engage in self-flagellation, you know, uh, start blaming us uh, and making ourselves responsible, I mean, us, the United States, for what's happening there. On a short-term tactical basis, we have committed some errors in- indeed. But this problem of the Middle East is not 50, 10, 100 years old. It's 1,400 years old. Uh, the region basically has been stuck uh, in a pre-19th century, pre-nation state uh, mentality. And it is a problem that they have to solve themselves. It basically comes down to two things. One is the secession of Mohammed between the Shia and the Sunni. And also the version that they have of what constitutes a nation and a nation state. And uh, we in the West have been dealing with them from that perspective, and it is the wrong perspective. On the other hand, um, to to, uh, look at it from a a semi-isolationist point of view and say that we need to let them sort it out, it's a big problem because as part of that, you know, 19th century development uh, uh, before that of the nation state, we, we have come to a state of of, uh, law, international law, that commits nations uh, to uh, pay attention to atrocities and things of that nature. Yep, absolutely. And and the other problem is that we do have interest. Uh, It's just that we, in the 21st century now... I would point out that we don't. I I think that that's absolutely not true. I think that there are corporations that have interests and that those corporations pay off politicians who then claim that I have interests, but I don't think I actually have interests over there. Well, okay, well, I'll take issue with that because uh, in a way I can see your point, but the problem is that we are part of the corporation. Which corporation are you referring to? I'm not getting a paycheck from them. (laughs) Well, you, you may not personally, and I may not personally, but right now we are holding. I'm holding a telephone that is part of that corporate structure. We are communicating through airways that is regulated between the marriage of government and, and private sector. We communicate through the internet. So uh, when I say uh, the national interest, it, it, this is the problem that we have in the 21st century. The national interest it was easily defined in the in the 19th century and even in the 20th century 
within national borders. But now uh, national borders have uh, become effectively, as demonstrated in 9-11, uh, basically symbolic. We we have we have a uh, ultra worldly uh, ruling class uh, that has transgenderized uh, finances, and uh, everybody has everybody else uh, by the tail. Yeah, you know, Jose, so, I, I actually I agree with you uh, on the idea that this is. Uh... This overall overarching problem of that area, it goes well beyond 100 years, you know, into the 1400 years, maybe even beyond marker. Uh, I'm definitely with you on that. And I'm but I'm, I'm curious, like, what what do you see as the solution? I mean, clearly, you've got a you've got a grasp of what's going on, no doubt. Uh, so what do you see as a solution for uh, what is happening in the in the Middle East? Well, first, the first thing we need to do is to have a multi-pronged approach to this, okay? A very large uh, a military solution at the moment with troops on the ground is definitely not uh, what is called for. However, it isn't also called for to come and tell the world that you don't have a strategy. That is, that is a terrible mistake. Uh, There's a terrible signal to send. So I, I think there are all the people who have a stake in the region, uh, starting with the main actors in the region, uh, the, the Saudi Arabia, the, the, the sectors between... Uh, that, that do have some kind of a, a steel uh, national structure uh, from where they can operate. And those are the major actors like Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia, the, uh, the, the, the Saudi countries, the Sunni countries, and Iran. Uh, they, have, they, have, uh, they have skin in the game. And then after that, everybody who does business with them, like we do and Europe does, uh, also have the skin in the game. So they have to come in with a very comprehensive short-term and long-term strategy. Short-term at the moment to stop this massacre, this horrible uh, killing going on. Uh, and that can be done in many different tactical ways. But uh, also you need to have a long-term strategy to, to uh, uh, how to, without getting into a project of trying to democratize, uh, the region, uh, trying for us to first to understand what the culture is like and not to expect them to be like us. Yeah, I agree with that point, actually, that we, we you can't expect. And in fact, that that really, in my opinion, bolsters what I guess could be called the semi-isolationist view of the idea that being over there when not understanding how their culture even works is dangerous in well, and of itself. The only time it matters, I mean, okay, so look, um, you know, Japan and the United States, two completely different cultures. Somehow they can get along when it comes to business. And it, the reason is, is you're over, we're willing to overlook a little bit as far as uh, you know how somebody comes across when oh, you're trying to business do business with them. This is a great incentive to learn about cultural stuff, right? And whereas when you're over there telling them how they're going to live, you know suddenly their culture gets far more important to them than uh, than it was otherwise. And what, I, about, what, what I'm th- curious about, Jose, what, what do you? Uh, um, go on, Stephanie. Oh, I was going to say for a long term strategy, like you mentioned, Jose, what do you think about opening up the borders, you know, and letting people immigrate to the U.S. who want to come here and get away from oppressive uh, regimes? Oh, I think that's a horrible idea because I think it's actually imperialism in reverse. Um, and let me explain that. It might take me a, a minute or so, but um, the, if it, to, to open the borders to a, a, a population that is uh, really unprepared to, uh, it, it, it would be, okay, let me, let me go back. In, in, in the past, uh, our type of imperialism was we would go to their countries, we would use their resources, we would use their labor force in-house in their country, uh, we export the resources, we send them back uh, already manufactured to them, and, and that's how we, we make money. It was kind of a mercantile type of arrangement. But now we are importing their labor force, and we are then providing a relief valve for those countries, the elites of those countries. We are giving them a way out from a youth population that it is a danger to them that could challenge their system into democratizing in the most important democratization that is needed in Latin America. Wouldn't that create a um, really strong incentive for those countries to step forward and create? I mean, you know, now when their population better. can't leave, they can do whatever the hell they want to them. Mm-hmm. Um, but when their population can leave, well, yeah, you're right. Those The rich people will control the resources, but the resources really are useless unless you have people to harvest them. No, because not everybody's going to leave, of course. You know, so what you have is... Right, the old the people land. stay. Well, not just the old, the old people. I mean, really, in, in reality, not everybody's going to leave. You have to, I'm not saying, you know, you got a percentage of the youth, uh, young, young population that's leaving, but not, it's, you, know, it's, it, it, you know, it doesn't go between more than 10, 5, 
ten percent is is not a massive exodus. There's there's is a, is a representation. But for example, you have El Salvador uh, that uh, something like fifteen percent of the GDP of Salvador depends on money that that uh, immigrants send to El Salvador. Yeah. And, and the same with Honduras. The same with Mexico. So what we're doing is we are hypocritically, in my opinion. Uh, entering into a marriage of convenience. I, I, this, this, is, this problem, it, it's, it's been going on for a long time. Uh, President Bush offered an, a, 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 a solution to this, and even the same activists for immigration were the ones to, to, to sabotage it, because at the upper levels uh, where these powers of uh, decisions are made, Illegal immigration it's, it's, it's a great thing. It's a, it's a marriage of convenience. Uh, everybody, everybody except uh, who, the, the, the ones that matter, the victims, uh, benefit from it. Uh, the uh, Central American governments, like I said, have a, a relief valve uh, from uh, letting go a potential revolutionary mass of people. Uh, these are, in the case of El Salvador, for example, all these kids are... Jose, yeah, we're up against the clock. I really appreciate your call and yeah, your thoughts. Uh, yeah, absolutely. A, a great, uh, an interesting perspective. No doubt about it. Uh, well, thank so you. thank you for thank calling in. Uh, and please feel free to call in again, of course. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, at the end of all that, I can't help but feel like the one problem is the same word that keeps getting repeated. Nations. And maybe if that idea, idea went away, maybe we'd find a lot of these problems go away. We'll be back with more. At the Home Depot, buy one or more pallets of GAF Royal Sovereign three-tab shingles and save up to 20%. Let's raise the roof but lower the cost with bulk pricing on GAF, America's number one shingle, featuring advanced protection technology. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Up to 20% off one or more pallets of select GAF shingles. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Valid through September 17th, U.S. only. See store for details. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, September 5th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,265, silver opened at $19.10, and Bitcoin is trading around $484.38. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. Vote Michael Cargill to get the cars moving. Learn more or sign up to volunteer at CargillForTexas.com. This political advertisement paid for by the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. In the news today, on Thursday, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder announced the federal government is launching a second investigation into the Ferguson, Missouri Police Department. The focus will be on who the officers stop and search, how suspects are treated in jail, and the department's officer training. The investigation will be handled by the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division, the news comes after weeks of protests following the police shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Jacob Lavoro, the 19-year-old man arrested in Williamson County, Texas, 
for possessing and selling pot brownies, received his trial date this week. Lavaro was originally facing life in prison, but the first-degree felony charges associated with his case were dropped, quite possibly due to the massive outcry from local and national activists and supporters. Justin Armand, executive director of Texans for Accountable Government, is one such supporter. He was present during the court proceedings and told the Liberty Beat that Jacob needs public support as he still faces charges that could carry up to 20 years in prison. Justin called Lavaro a peaceful young man who would be considered an entrepreneur in Colorado. Lavaro's court date has been set for December 1st, with a pretrial date set for November 12th at 1.30. At the pretrial hearing, Lavaro's attorney will present a motion to suppress certain evidence on the grounds that police entered his home illegally. The Liberty Beat will keep you up to date as this story unfolds. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus received support from the City Council Public Safety Committee this week when he presented a proposal, first revealed by News Radio WOAI, to ticket motorists who give money to street corner panhandlers. McManus told the committee there are alternative ways to give, as money given on the street, quote, goes for drugs and goes for alcohol. McManus said he would make a formal presentation on his plan next month. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin. Now hosting a Bitcoin ATM in Austin, Texas. 1904 Guadalupe Street or online bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 5th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook, facebook.com, the Liberty Beat. Several media outlets have reported on 11 planes allegedly missing from a Libyan airport and the possibility that the planes could be used for a terror attack. The Washington Free Beacon, Al Jazeera Television, and USA Today have reported that intelligence agencies believe the jets could be used to strike targets on the 13th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. A spokeswoman for the White House National Security Council told USA Today there's no confirmation that aircraft were stolen. Pictures are available online that purport to show Islamic militants standing with planes they allegedly took from an airport in Tripoli. The Huffington Post also reported that a Moroccan military expert claimed there was credible intelligence for the planes to be used in an attack on the 9-11 anniversary. Duke University and New York University have recently begun offering courses on cryptocurrencies. NYU professor Jeffrey Miller and professor David Yermak are teaching the law and business of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Yermak stated the course will teach how cryptocurrencies affect the principles of finance. In the spring of 2015, Duke University finance professor Campbell Harvey will begin teaching innovation, disruption, and crypto ventures, focusing on the potential of blockchain technology. Cryptocurrency courses are already offered at the University of Nicosia in Cyprus and the UK's University of Cumbria. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Now accepting Bitcoin. Online, rrbi.co. Or by phone, 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 5th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you to spread liberty with a smile. In order to more accurately portray the risks of smoking, the FDA has approved putting a picture of Trish on the cover of all cigarette packs. Clinical trials suggest that images of diseased organs, corpses, and deformed infants all prove less effective than a single photograph of Trish smiling. Smokers can expect to see the graphic campaign as early as next month, paired with a simple line of text that reads, Cigarettes Cause Trish. In science news, a new study finds that every style of parenting inevitably produces disturbed and miserable adults. Despite a great variance in parenting styles across populations, from overprotective to permissive, the end product is always the same, a profoundly flawed and joyless human being. One bright note of the study, adults can find temporary happiness when they're able to perpetuate the cycle of human misery by having children. In other news, the Pulitzer board adds a giant pumpkin category, and a local man's utter failure in life is a bit of a sore spot. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, the final hour of the Sunday night edition 
course, you are joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. You can call in, take over the show, talk about whatever you want to talk about, 855-450-3733. ISIS has really been the the talk of the night, Uh, some interesting calls. And again, the number is 855-450-3733. Or, of course, you can get in touch with us via Skype. And you can, our handle is lrn.fm. Uh, And we'll actually be going to Skype in a moment. But I just want to mention that if you are interested in listening to more Free Talk Live, because it runs seven nights a week, 365 days a year, the show hasn't stopped. It doesn't stop. And it hasn't stopped for a while. So it's been on for years. Uh, We've been every night of the week for years. Years. Uh, You can go to archives. I guess I should say every night for years. Right. You can go to archives.freetalklive.com. And if you you want more of that Free Talk Live fix, that is the place to go. It will take care of you. You can even go back a good 10 years. Uh, so let's go ahead to, like I said, the Skypes. And we have uh, Nathan with us. Hey, guys. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Uh, so you wanted to talk about website security. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it's been a while since I've called in about a technical topic and thrown sure. a bunch of technical words at you. So I uh, thought it's high time. <laughs> so... Uh, so I have a friend who has a website, and the website has people who use that website, but he's he's being attacked by a, uh, a DDoSer. I don't know if you've, you've heard of this. Yeah, DDoS like is a, denial, um, distributed, distributed. distributed denial of service attack, which... Right. So it, conceptually, it's like you own a mall, and uh, someone puts an ad in the newspaper that, oh, there's a free sale going on on Tuesday, and then like, you know, 100 people or 1,000 people try to cram into the mall at once. 10,000 right. people, so then, yeah. Yeah, good analogy. And so I was wondering, a, a cursory Google search uh, couldn't inform me of whether is there anything that people can do about these? Because I found some websites where people said, I can't do anything about it unless you have 100000 bucks lying around. And then I saw other websites that said, well, yes, if you do this, this, and this, or if you learn about that, then you can stop it. So I was wondering, what's your opinion as the golden stallion of the tech world? Ah, so that would be me. Yes. <laughs> of course. Uh, that's uh, kind of my, my nickname going around is uh, the Golden Stallion of the tech world. And uh, my really the only, I think, as far as for what everybody could possibly do, okay, there are certain web hosts that take this point very seriously where they, they are very concerned about DDoS attacks. There are things you can do, but the easiest thing to do uh, is to check out Squarespace, um, which they are a past advertiser for the show. Uh, and they are kind of the, you know, they're, they're the unsinkable ship. And in many ways they really are, uh, to where, you know, I've, I've heard of literally thousands of people being, you know, sent to their websites to try and take them down and it just does not happen. So, uh, that's, that would be like my initial recommendation. That's the cheap, that's the cheap solution, right? Yeah. That's kind of the cheap solution and the, the timely solution to do that. So you wouldn't necessarily want to get into setting packet setting packet of uh, uh, filter rules or tinkering with your firewall or anything like that. Yeah, WordPress offers some things that that allow for that. WordPress is a CS. It's a uh, platform that allows you to to make websites a little more easier uh, to you know to design them. Um, that is something that could be looked into, and that allows for some of what you just discussed. Um, but I really, I don't. Know, it's to to me. In Go general, ahead. you want to leave it up to the experts, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. We also, we actually, we have an advertiser right now, Easy DNS. And I mean, if someone is concerned about like website security, these are guys that you could really talk to. You know, what can I do with like, say you have your own HTML implementations because Squarespace really like you have to, well, you don't have to, but generally you use their own themes. Uh, it's very easy to use, but if you're a control freak kind of guy and you really want to use everything you've got, uh, you know, all your abilities, uh, you know, I would get in touch with, you know, a group like easy DNS and say, okay, you know, what can I implement? How can you help me? You want to work with your web, the person who's doing web hosting for you is I guess the bottom line of really what I'm saying. Well, it's interesting since the the person is someone who personally dislikes him and is from the Middle East. So I was joking that maybe it's because they ha- he hates you for your freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, right. uh, that but that 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 was the impetus, though. Seriously, because since he lives in in, a, in that country, the the police there won't do anything about it. So that leaves only the, the technical solutions. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. Um, now, it's a long road, really, to, to figuring out, like, how to do really great, um, uh, you know, defense 
against DDoS attacks. Uh, I mean, that's why they're so popular and why they're still so popular. Because they work. Because they work. They work so well. So Yeah, I've actually heard it said that the Internet is basically designed in, in a faulty way such that, you know, that this is basically an inherent flaw in the Internet. I totally agree with that statement, 100%. Um, I think that the Internet, in fact, a marker mentioned earlier, MadeSafe, while we're name-dropping everybody here, uh, MadeSafe is something that I'm not entirely certain how they would solve DDoS, but they it's certainly something that it solves a lot of the inherent issues with the Internet, such as uh, servers. In fact, I guess in that way, that's how it would solve the DDoS, is that there aren't servers to attack. You'd have to attack, instead of servers with MadeSafe, you have what's called farmers. And all a farmer is, is a certain amount of resources on everybody's computer, your laptop, your desktop, whatever. And with that, I mean, you'd have to attack millions and billions of machines. I mean, if MadeSafe... Can't be done to today. Point, right. Uh, so... Yeah, so in that way it could solve DDoS, but yeah, there are a lot of inherent flaws with the internet, and it's important but, to keep in mind this is a you know fifty, sixty year old technology. Absolutely, there's going to be flaws. Wouldn't it still be possible to do a DDoS attack even with MadeSafe? Because like you're still, even though it's not a server like one centralized server that's serving out the website that everyone's right. trying to visit, you would still like there would still be some amount of resources that the network is using to serve out that some, website. Some, right? but that's the thing is is that with the DDoS you go to a specific address and attack that entire address and the data on that address that you're trying to access. Mm -hmm. With MadeSafe, not all the data is ever in one place at one time. And so But you it, does that even matter though? Because like if you're just trying to access all the same data, even if that data isn't stored in one place couldn't you still pull off a DDoS attack? I'm, I, to be honest, I don't know the we'll answer to, to that. We'll have to see because yeah, we'll we have yeah. to see. <laughs> That's At it. this point, we know that the uh, the internet is designed in a faulty way. Made safe is if it gets implemented, it, probably an, a new evolution in uh, the internet. If it's even going to be called that, certainly. Yeah, that that would be an improvement. So, yeah, I think it's a great point to bring up, Nathan, that uh, the the internet or the World Wide Web, as it were, uh, does have some very serious flaws. So was there anything yeah, else on your – go ahead. Oh, well, I just wanted to follow up to Stephanie's point that I, I was reading an article about them, and it looked like a lot of the attacks do kind of rely on there being one address to attack, like uh, what kind of like if uh, someone orders, orders 100 pizzas and then sends them all to Mark Edge, like, you know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't really work uh, for multiple He'd eat them, because, but yeah. <laughs> yeah <'cause laughs> it might a take a little while. Somebody a delivered a pizza to me once that uh, I didn't order. I, <laughs> I, I That's illegal, bad. by the way. <laughs> that really? may be true, but uh, you know, I was like, I didn't order Did you this send it pizza, back? and the the driver's like, oh no, you know, like he was really disappointed. I'm like, what kind of pizza is it? And it happened to be a pizza that I found <laughs> tolerable, so I paid for it and kept the pizza. <laughs> Any other thoughts, Nathan? No, that's all. Thanks, and have a good night, guys. Yeah, likewise. Uh, thank you for your thoughts. So, yeah, I I think it's a, a really interesting point that not a lot of people really want to discuss because i think with so many arguments and this happens in liberty arguments or liberty conversations too it's like okay fine then you know governments are are, are the problem what do you put in its place? And a lot of times people don't have an answer. And I think the Internet can easily be said. A lot of people could say, like I'd mentioned earlier, Steve Gibson even said that the Internet is really a scary thing. Um, what do you you know, what do you put in its place? Some people have answers. Some some don't. But most people are just terrified to even ask. But I think it is important to have some kind of an answer. Uh, made safe is one. I mean, I you know, uh, you could go back to BBSs, these bulletin board systems that used to be very popular. Nobody's going in the back 90s. to BBSs. I don't know. <laughs> There's always going to be ways to attack any kind of technology. That's a fact. I mean, You're it, right. It's totally true. Like, if a new technology comes up that's resistant to DDoS attacks, there'll be some other vulnerability in that. Yeah, and certainly, I think uh, the elephant in the room when it comes to internet security that a lot of people don't talk about is the U.S. government itself or mm. governments in general because they for their own needs quote unquote and for your protection quote unquote they keep all of these zero day attacks their flaws that you mm -hmm. don't know about in the system and they keep them for themselves but in so doing they make the entire system insecure for everybody and so really they're working against you your thoughts you can call in 855-450-3733 free talk live 
Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim. A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M. Angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at angioprim.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, thinks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show. Tonight you are joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. And, you know, you can call in 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line. Or, of course, you can get in touch with us via Skype. Skype always sounds wonderful. We just got a had a Skype call from Nathan. Uh, and that's at LRN.FM. That is our Skype handle. And, again, you just have to, if, if you haven't called in the show before, before via Skype, we just have to accept your contact request 
and then we can get you onto the air. And again, it sounds fantastic. Or just call in with the good old phone, 855-450-3733. Mark. Yeah, we're going to head off to Orlando here coming up shortly. Uh, All of us. Yes, we will all be there. It's going to be from Saturday, October the 4th through Monday, October the 6th. We're heading to Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida for a Bitcoin party. And this is, you know, a little different than, say, the conventions that we've had in the past. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to have folks there from crypto, the crypto, Cryptocurrency College Network, the Chamber of Digital Commerce, Bitcoin Not Bombs, uh, MIT's Free Bitcoin, Talk Live. Free Talk Live, <laughs> the MIT Bitcoin Project. Stephanie, who are you most excited to see when you go there? You're um, talking too, right? I guess I'm going to be on some panels or yeah. something. Yeah. I mean, I actually am interested in seeing, um, I think Pamela Morgan's going to be there. Oh, yep. yeah. She's, a, she's great. She's an attorney, but she's not like your typical attorney by any means. I don't get excited about attorneys, but she's like, she's just kind of interested in using the blockchain for like agreements and contracts. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about that, that too. Um, come out come out and hang out with us. Tickets are 60 bucks. Hotel rooms, $100. Kids under 12 Free to the event. On Monday, they're going to go to Walt Disney World and have a great time. Fun? Mandatory. Come celebrate magic internet money at the Magic Kingdom. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Fantastic. Uh, you can yeah. pay for your trip with Bitcoin. Like, Not only is it a cheap trip, but you could pay for it all with Bitcoin, right? It's true. You can use uh, Cheapair.com. Cheapair.com to, you know, I, I think you could probably book your hotel through them. I yep. don't know. I didn't have to book my hotel. <laughs> um, but I did buy, pay for my trip uh, with Bitcoin. Sweet. Well, not that much Bitcoin either. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, you can call into the show, 855-450-3733. We've been talking ISIS quite a bit, but let's go to the phones, and we have Dave in Poughkeepsie. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. I do not like being kept on hold for over an hour. I called around 8 o'clock. I kept on, you know, every- Oh, and he's gone. Um, that's nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I well, don't like to bring on a caller that's just going to talk, complain about being on hold. I mean... Yeah, that's your executive decision. I mean, absolutely. You don't have a right to be not, you know, to, like, get on the air in a certain amount of time on the show. Sure. Yeah, mostly folks uh, are... Well, frankly, uh, Dave calls in often, and if we recognize a name, uh, you know, you're going to wait, and it's gonna, for the people that whose names we don't recognize, and that's how it goes. And I don't mean to be mean, but Nathan had to wait too. Uh, oh, actually, we've had multiple callers waiting. A couple of them waited an hour to get on because uh, we yeah. had a very important call right. with Rich Paul and others. Uh, I mean, you know, and I appreciate all of them doing that, and I appreciate them not coming out of the gate saying, "How dare you." Leave me on hold for so yeah, long. That's not interesting. Nope. Um, it's, it's, it's not good radio. Somebody complaining about being held on, on, on the radio. Free Talk Live, hold times do vary. Sometimes they're a couple of minutes. Sometimes they're an hour. And that's just how that is. And usually the hour hold times are for people that are you know more regular on the show. You're part of the show. That means you're part of the team and when you're on the team, you take one for the team, <laughs> yeah. and you wait. <laughs> right. So anyway, I guess we will finally get into um, one of some one of the stories that we brought in. And Mark, you had a, an interesting one, I thought, about California. Yeah, I've I've almost forgotten that we had show prep. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> you know, the Sunday show is almost turning into like the Saturday show, where it's just basically wall to wall calls. We and might we get one story them. off in the first segment. But... You know why that? The, the, I think the reason that is, Stephanie. This is speculation on my part. Uh-huh. Is there's almost nothing live on a Sunday evening? Free Talk Live's not on very many more stations on Sunday than we are on a weekday. I don't think we are on any more stations on Sunday than we are on a weekday. Mm. Uh, but there's just nothing live. So you're, there are, let's see, in, on Sunday night, there's another show that's live. That it's a current events show that you can call in on. And it's Free Talk Live. And then one of our hours, we're the only thing live. So huh. that's it. We're the only game in town. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, I mean, it's good to be on the, the top. <laughs> in the nation. I'm, not ta- I'm talking about in the country. This is what centralization in radio has done, is, is that there's a few com- companies out there, and they've basically cut weekend talent. They don't exist. I, I mean, people complain that there's not a farm system in radio because there's not local talent, and there's some local talent. But there's, there's not even national talent on the weekend. 
right? It's all home improvements, uh, garden shows, uh, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I'm intrigued because I know back when radio first kind of came out, uh, this would be with you know the early 20th century when it really started taking its its height. Uh, people were terrified of radio. There there were a lot of groups that thought, oh, radio's you know turn, making everybody mindless. Uh, in fact, it was a really like scary issue that especially Sunday radio in particular was far more terrifying because of you know it's Lord's Christianity. Day. It's yeah. Lord's Day. Um, but then there were certain groups that said, no, you know, let's get this message out there all the time, even on Sundays. And uh, I think there is uh, something to be said for there being content seven days a week that has really brought to a lot of education and a lot of social change, mm. uh, positive well, social change. Well, you can't change. drink on Sundays because it's God's yeah, Day. Yeah, blue so laws, Might right? as well be able to listen In to the radio. Places. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, here, for the program directors that happen to be listening, I have a little suggestion. Uh, like, surely you've thought of this. If your money is made during the week when people are listening to issues-oriented talk, take people taking phone calls live, that kind of thing, then why would you fall all over yourself to do gardening and home improvement and these other things? Look, I know they bring the money in. I know that the local hardware store will sponsor the home improvement show. I get it. But... You know, people do want to hear issues-oriented talk. They certainly want to hear live radio. Uh, I mean, sports? Put it on your sports station. Don't put it in your talk station. A, yeah. lot of, a lot of stations, a lot of station groups have a sports channel and a talk channel and will put the sports on the talk channel. What sense does that make? Yeah, or to say nothing of the fact that we're on the Internet. You know, uh, Free Talk Live airs live on the Internet all the time. I mean, that's worldwide. There's a, and, and for other shows not to recognize that, that there is a worldwide audience just hungry for content, really at all times, anytime they want. It's not just podcast listeners, lots of people. I mean, the TuneIn app is really popular. Uh, iHeartRadio is pretty popular, even though iHeartRadio is more of a U.S.-centric kind of thing, I think. Um, all these things are you know, are pretty popular, and for you to miss out on getting content out to those people, I mean, that's a, that's a business proposition well, that's dying. We certainly make that uh, a possibility that you know, we, we're able... You could listen to Free Talk Live pretty much any method you want to listen to us, but that's not... I don't think anything matches radio in accessibility. I agree. I push the button on the on button. I turn the key in my car. Actually, my car doesn't have a key anymore. I push a button to turn my car on, and issues-oriented talk is playing out of the radio just like that. Absolutely. I think radio is the ultimate decentralized technology. And All right. That's enough tooting our own horn. That's right. We have uh, important <laughs> issues to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we'll talk about some crazy, speaking of crazy laws, we'll talk about some crazy laws in California in just a moment. But you can call in if you like. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. For over 12 years, Halverson Enterprises CEO Peter Weathers has taken a hands-on approach in all aspects of the tech firm's growth and day-to-day -day business. But employees say the executive's true talent lies in his unique ability to recognize great ideas and then absolutely ruin them. For as long as I've worked here, Peter has been able to sit down in a meeting, listen to a million different ideas, pick out the one that makes the most sense creatively and financially, and then totally destroy it until there's basically nothing worthwhile about it left. 
He's remarkable. Employees throughout the company say they're most impressed by Weathers' ability to water down promising ideas with meaningless jargon, consistently choose the wrong person to head up every project, and inject virtually every halfway decent thought with his own short-sighted and terrible insights. At our all-hands meeting the other week, our team put forth a very feasible plan to boost productivity. And it was really incredible to see Peter's mind at work, just taking every good aspect of our proposal and dismantling it like a small child. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show. And, of course, Free Talk Live is a show where you can call in, take over the airwaves, talk about whatever you want to talk about. 855-450-3733 is the ProXPN toll-free call in line. Or, of course, you can get in touch with us via Skype uh, at LRN.FM. Again, the uh, regular old phone number, though, is 855-450-3733. And tonight you are joined by Brian. And Stephanie. And Mark. If you want to get some, we've, we were talking about cryptocurrencies early. And yes, you, indeed. If you want to get a hold of some Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, the best place to do it is ExpressCoin.com. They've got Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin. Those are the popular ones these days. Go check it out, ExpressCoin.com. They've got great customer service. They're completely legal, inexpensive, fast, easy. You can deposit some money at a local credit union that has shared branching, and within a business day, you will have your cryptocurrencies delivered to your cryptocurrency wallet. It's great. As a matter of fact, if you want to try it out, you probably want to do a little bit. If you want to do a little bit, you want to do less than $40, you can do it without any fee at all. That's with, a great offer. With no fee at all. Yeah. Use coupon code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. Yes, you can do it in Canada. You can do it in the United States. Coupon code FTL. And you can get less than $40 worth of uh, crypt Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you want at no fee at all. ExpressCoin.com. Yeah. And I, code FTL. Absolutely. And I recommend looking into some of the other cryptocurrencies. I mean, if you want to look for an analogy, honestly, MySpace didn't last forever. And it way was way more uh, powerful than Facebook was when it started. So yeah. keep your eye out. You know, don't, don't treat them as so much of a joke. They might be very serious in the very near future. So yeah, ExpressCoin. I'm glad that they make all of that available. So Mark, California, 
uh, is pulling some, uh, well, I mean, does it shock anybody that California pulls a crazy stunt? But this one in particular, I don't know if it's crazy, but I think it's interesting. It's weird. The California Assembly on Monday, and this is, uh, it's, it's a rather dated story, so I don't know how far it's gone. I don't imagine it's gone into law yet. But they passed legislation that would ban the state from selling or displaying the Confederate flag or any similar image. So you can't have, like, redneck written with uh, the stars and bars uh, right. in it. With Republican gubernatorial candidate Tim Donnelly casting the single soul vote in opposition. So we are talking about a vote of, I think it's 37, no, excuse me, 72 to 1. 72 to 1. It it sounds like it's going to fly through, doesn't it? Yeah, right. 72 to 1 to ban the Confederate flag. So this means like even something like you have those like, uh, I remember, I don't know if this brand even still exists, but there was these Big Johnson shirts where it have a woman on there. Uh, that, that's literally what they were called. It was uh-huh. the brand is Big Johnson. It was banned from like the schools I went to. Mm-hmm. And uh, oftentimes it would have a woman on there, you know, very voluptuous and she would be wearing uh, pretty much a Confederate flag, you know, and that was about it. And uh, so that sort of thing would be, would that be banned as well? I would think so. Basically wow. any images of the Confederate flag. Uh, going on here says, we shouldn't be here picking the kind of speech that we'd like. I abhor racism, but the concept that in a country that was founded on the right of free speech, that we are going to ban certain types of speech is antithetical to the First Amendment. This is what Don Lee um, of Twin Peaks near Lake Arrowhead, I guess is one of the representatives, uh, uh, said. Um, this is the gubernatorial candidate, Tim Don Lee. And I have to agree with him. I'm not, you know... I'm not looking to the Republicans to save me <laughs> by any stretch. I also don't think that, uh, you know, it's it's a huge loss to the world. If, oh, now, uh, wait a minute. What if they can't film any more Dukes of Hazard in the movies? <laughs> That's right. I mean, this could be a real problem. Indeed. <laughs> you have to, they'd have to get some kind of uh, special dispensation to be able to do another Dukes <laughs> well, of Hazzard. Well, would those come? I bet those would. For Hollywood, yes, they Yeah, would. there would be special dis- which. Isn't that amazing? You know, I mean, that even in that you would have the separate, you'd have this this difference in uh, in law. I mean, I I wonder whether there's anybody who would agree with this because I've got to say the stars and bars are probably some of the most um, contentious speech, and by speech I mean things that people wear or have on their vehicle or whatever out there. I think that some people have them to celebrate heritage. You know, that have this, these stickers or whatever to celebrate heritage. And I think some people use it as uh, code speak for, I don't like black people. Sure. And I, I think that's 100% the truth. I, however, would not, uh, you know, limit those people from being able to say what they want to say. I would never do it myself. I would like to point out, I am from the South, and I think of all the flags in the world that the Stars and Bars, the second Virginia battle flag, is the most attractive of them, if I look at them. I know there's people that probably disagree with me, but I think that's the prettiest of them. It's the best-looking gang sign around. That's how I feel. <laughs> but I would never put it on a vehicle of mine. I'd look at, have a funny-looking Prius, by the way. Um, you think there's a Prius out there with the Confederate flag on it? <laughs> I, I think there's the irony be must be out there, yeah. It's yeah. got to be somewhere. <laughs> Someone did that. But... Uh, I would never do it just because I like the way it looks or that I'm from the South because I think that it might hurt some people's feelings and I wouldn't I wouldn't put something on my vehicle that might hurt somebody's feelings. But I'm shocked that this requires any kind of legislation because I think by and large, most people, when they see that the average U.S. citizen, for whatever that means, you know, sees that and they just instantly make up their mind. And honestly, they, they just won't even pay attention to the person uh, that has it. Well, Assemblyman Isidore Hall the third, Democrat of Compton, said the uh, battle flag of the Confederacy is a symbol of racism, exclusion, oppression, and violence towards many Americans. Its symbolism and history is directly linked to the enslavement, torture, murder of millions of Americans through the mid 19th century. Hall said even today, his uh, public display is designed to instill fear, intimidation, and a direct threat of violence towards others. Well, then I have I have something I would like to pass through legislation. Now, I'm an anarchist, and I usually don't like legislation, but um, in this case, I would like the United States flag, the you know, the 50 stars, the whole business, I would like that completely banned, because around the world, it means everything you just listed, in my opinion. To, um, some, to some people, it certainly yeah, means when, that. When I served, it wasn't just your re- opinion. That was the reaction no, you fact. got yeah, from was, p- other people. Yeah, I was going to say, when I was in the military, when I went overseas, when I was in... in you know, in the Middle East, especially, 
I had a huge star of David around my neck. I, I tell the story all the time because I, I think people are, their perceptions are very skewed. Nobody cared about me having a star of David around my neck. They did not care at all. It didn't mean anything to them. If anything, it was more of a sign of respect because they're like, oh, yeah, he's one of us religious folks. Okay. But the instant they saw stars and stripes on my shoulder, then the reactions changed. Then the fear settled in. The ideas of torture, like they're talking about with the Confederate flag, Intimidation. settles in. Intimidation a direct was there. Of violence. All of that was I saw with my own eyes, and I guarantee you ask a whole lot of other veterans or even people currently serving, and they would tell you the same thing. So if you're going to ban the one, and I think the one's re- myself, I think the one's ridiculous, but you know, you might as well ban them all. Because they, they, they all carry this connotation with them somewhere, unless you think that people around the world are somehow lesser and they can just deal with the fact that the Stars and Stripes scares the hell out of them. It's uh, The, the term, term here is uh, racism, exclusion, oppression, and violence is what uh, Mr. Uh, Hall... Now, have they banned the uh, swastika? Have they banned, uh, like, what is it, the... Uh... The I think Doc the Martens get... with the white laces or whatever, isn't that like a symbol for being a skinhead? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that the, the swastika is banned in Germany. In Germany, but not in California. Yeah, I, yeah, actually, I mean, right. If they're going to say it's a symbol of racism, then let's be consistent here and ban the other symbols of racism. Yeah, in Germany, in fact, uh, the band Kiss, who uh, I, I love them, they, they on their album covers, the I mean, everybody knows the symbol for Kiss. It's the two SS's at the end, oh, yeah, and it looks yeah. like the SS. They have to actually put Z's. In it's K I Z Z. They turn the S's around. Yeah. Wow. In in uh, well, in, they don't even look like the you know the lightning oh, no? bolt okay. S, which uh, in you, Germany, right? In Germany, I mean that's how serious it is there. So this isn't anything new. Countries and and you know municipalities have done this kind of nonsense before. Wow, so, doesn't it just draw more attention to some? I mean, like when you ban something like a Confederate flag, like oh, it, you just made it cool. Yeah, exactly. Right. So Republican Donald P. Wagner, Republican of Irvine, spoke in support of the measure. He said that the contrary to Donnelly's concern that legislation would infringe upon free speech, the bill was limited to the state's commercial conduct. What does that mean? Um, and was therefore tailored in a way that would be entirely appropriate and would pass First Amendment muster. So you can make your own a Confederate uh, flag? Yeah, I want to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, but you can call in if you have thoughts on it. 855 450 Three seven three three. Should the Confederate flag be banned? I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues, no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. 
A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition of the show. You can call in in the remaining moments, 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line, or you can get in touch with us via Skype. It always sounds fantastic when people call in via Skype. LRN.FM is our handle. Uh, but again, the phone number, 855-450-3733. That is 855-450-3733. Three three, and tonight you are joined by Brian. I had you muted. I'm sorry. I've been censored. Uh, and Stephanie and Mark, and you know, actually, Stephanie, you, uh, you know, speaking, of, I, that was a very unprofessional move on my part of of not turning on your mic. No, but that's you okay. <laughs> are a mic professional. I try. Are you not? No, no, you really are. As in, you could go to a website and you could be hired for your professional services as a, a mic, as a voice artist. Indeed, yeah. Um, I'm a voice actor. I make video narrations, audiobooks, radio commercials, and other types of voiceover stuff. And if you want to find out more about that, you can go to smvoice.info. I also do um, coaching with people who are looking to get into voiceover, and uh, I have a blog there, too. Yeah, fantastic. And of course, Mark, S- smvoice.info. Yeah, smvoice.info. And Mark, you have the Edgington Post, which I must admit, I enjoy listening to often. Yeah, and it's just a little interview program I do and talk to the folks I want to talk to. Sure. And that can be found at freetalklive.com. Right. It's on the left hand side of the page. Just scroll down, find Edgington Post. Yeah, some really interesting, uh, I mean, seriously interesting insights from uh, a lot of some luminaries and, and other business people, yeah, all if kinds you- of. If you subscribe to the podcast, uh, Free Talk Live's podcast, you get the Edgington Post. So it's yeah. right in there. Yeah. So, Stephanie, uh, in our remaining moments, uh, I was curious about entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, I actually had this article here from fundersandfounders.com, and it's kind of just a commentary. It's it's sort of an infographic, so I'll try to just verbally summarize it, but I think it makes a great point and a powerful statement. And it's basically about how the idea of being an employee with like a steady job and benefits and all that kind of stuff is just going away. Like employment is changing, you know, and everyone is Pensions change. Well, is is this just, they almost don't exist anymore. (laughs) Oh, sure. Sure. Absolutely. Forget it. So is this just in the U S? Um, 
I think it's actually gl- global because the marketplace for labor is becoming more global as time goes on. In fact, one of the things in this out the, in this infographic is saying that basically, if you're if you have a software company and you need a software developer, you could pay someone the average salary in the U.S., which is ninety four thousand dollars a year, or you could pay someone in Russia thirty two thousand dollars a year, someone in China twenty five thousand dollars a year, someone in India eleven thousand three hundred dollars a year, and get the same services. So outsourcing is really effective. Uh, people in the in the U.S.'s ability to get jobs. Yeah, creation of software is not something that's geographically specific. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's interesting because as I understand it in Europe, I mean, a lot of the countries, they're pretty much, I, I don't want to say their GDP, but their economy, I should say. Their economy is largely the service industry, mm-hmm. um, which is the antithesis of entrepreneurship, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit maybe of even geo-arbitrage going on, too, because you can live more cheaply in certain places in the world, right? Like, it's very expensive to live in, like, England, for instance, or even the U.S., compared to living in China or India. Certainly. Yeah, very true. So so and what's then, what's the trend? What, what exactly is going on? So a big trend that a lot of people probably are aware of is the rise in people not being employees, but being hired as consultants, freelancers, and independent contractors. And they actually, it actually, if you are an employer, it costs 30% less to hire an independent contractor than to hire an employee because you don't have to give them any benefits that are mandated by the government. And it's just this whole uh, different type of job is springing up in response to the idea that, it, like, the government well, mandates you have to give your employees health insurance and you have to give them maternity leave. Isn't this and the race yeah. to the bottom? What are you doing? Celebrating here the destruction of what made this country great? Oh, uh, I'm not you know, really celebrating it. Wage. I'm just saying that it's happening. And there's <laughs> this a, there's, race to the bottom. Yeah. Well, I would think this is actually pretty great because independent contractors uh, essentially can offer their services Without all that overhead, without mm-hmm. all the overhead of being a part of a big uh, company. Uh, yeah, I, I actually see it as a positive because I'd rather be responsible for my own uh, <laughs> like health health insurance. I don't really want it tied to my employer. They don't need to know details about my health and my medical conditions and right. stuff like that. They don't and, need to have an, an interest in my health. And, right? and the fact is employment's competition. So if I can get that job from somebody else uh, by offering a lower wage, then maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. Maybe I want a different job where I get paid a higher wage. I don't know. But it also gives you a little more freedom too. like if you're a contractor and you have have perhaps a bunch of different clients, if you don't like one of them, they're not your only boss. You're not married to them. It's like, it's like, uh, you don't it's like have an to advertiser have... or you have uh, you do voiceover work if you yeah. work for somebody and you're if like, I had I don't one work. if I had one boss that I did voiceovers for and I didn't like my boss that would be a big problem yes, and it I have would. had situations in the past where I had one boss that I didn't want to continue that yeah. employment <laughs> relationship with and it was a big problem because it was a monopoly on my labor essentially but now I have multiple different clients and if one of them gives me poop, then I can walk. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say you are pretty successful as far as, you know, getting clients yeah. um, in what you do. And I like so that the, freedom. I, yeah, and, and clearly these these clients do because yeah. they know the deal. They know who you're, you know, what you're going through. And, yeah, and, all. and they're not married to me either. I right. mean, like I, you know, they, they don't have to use me again to do their voiceovers if they don't, if they're not happy with what I provided. Yeah, I think there's an interesting point. Um, there's a lot of times I get annoyed where, you know, kind of the previous generation says, you know, well, back in my day and all this stuff. But I think one, this is one of the cases where it's very true that a lot of, you know, the previous generations are saying, look, this economy, it's a different world. And it's not necessarily that the economy is bad, not saying that it isn't, but just that the way with the way the Internet interconnects everything, um, just the way business is done is so different. Now, it really is a different world. And in fact, uh, a great guy that I like, uh, Leo Laporte, who uh, also does radio, mm-hmm. he he He's came a great out, host. yeah, and he has children, and his children have come to him, you know, pre- as far as I understand it, pretty much saying, hey, you know, yeah, this college thing, this isn't this isn't happening, mm-hmm. and that he he made the statement. I love the statement. He said that you know, kids today know that they have to make their own jobs, otherwise there isn't going to be one for them. Oh, it's so true. Yeah, yeah you and can't it's, just depend on someone to hand you a job. No, right. right. Even if and you have the quote right training. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just the failing economy. Again, it's the way business can get done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think the question becomes, you know, with entrepreneurs now, I don't think everybody can be an entrepreneur per se. I know some people do, um, though. I suppose maybe cleaning toilets is. Could be you. You could be an independent contractor. It depends on what you want to call entrepreneurship. But, sure. Um, yeah. If you 
want to say having your own business, essentially everybody does have their own business. Yeah. Sure. I mean, when you're an employee, you're selling your labor exclusively to one employer or maybe two, depending or three or four, depending on how many uh, you know jobs you've got. Right. Um, well, well, I remember back in the day, employers didn't want you to have a second job. Oh, yeah. yeah no, they that wanted was the family upon. man. They wanted. Uh, yeah. There's lots of specific they things it. they wanted. Yep. Yeah. Moonlighting project, yeah. I think of entrepreneur. When I think of entrepreneurship, I think of risk, like the willingness to take on risk. If the business fails, it's on you. And uh, most people who have jobs where an employer gives them a job, I f- I think they think of that as they're outside outsourcing the entrepreneurial risk to their employer. But that's not even really true anymore because they could just be fired at any time. Like your job isn't guaranteed, and so you're taking on risk as an employee, even if you don't want to sometimes. So just real quick before we end off, the next uh, trend in like the workforce, I guess, recently is robots are replacing humans. They're it's supposed <laughs> to be next year in 2015. They're going to some company called Sprint. Maybe it's Spirit. Maybe I misread it. I, I, now that I read after I read the story, I'm like, did I read Sprint or Spirit? I don't know. <laughs> um, a, a company with a name like that is supposed to be delivering robots for the home and office. Mm. So I know that Dyson just delivered its vacuum cleaning robot yeah. to, to compete yeah. with iRobots uh, vacuum. There's, Roomba, there are yeah. robots now that make fast fast food sandwiches. And do it like in six they can seconds do it in, per yeah, sandwich. Yeah, seven <laughs> seconds, which that's... And they and don't need Obamacare. They, they don't, don't need smoke breaks. cigarettes or have girlfriends. <laughs> exactly. Right. So, yeah. So the question becomes, where where are the jobs? Well, yeah. the jobs are going to have to be in the independent contractor things where, I mean, certainly like robots are not inherently a bad thing for an economy because there's a lot of jobs we don't want to send humans to do. Oh, yeah. You know, we sure. want to send robots to do those jobs, no doubt about it. Um, but I think there will always be you know, that need for for the human touch. But what happens when robots take care of all that, um, you know, the work around the house, the the work around, uh, you know, at work, the the work? I can't wait for that. I'm (laughs) for it, too. But let's not forget that, uh, like, I went for a bike ride today. I don't generally go for a bike ride. And one of the reasons that uh, I like to go mountain biking is, is that you have to watch every instant what you're doing. Because if you don't, you're going to land flat on your face, uh, probably with something broken. Yikes. Um, and so my brain's working as well as my body when I do it. Your brain has to work. Well, like I said in Dune, once men turned their thinking over to machines in the hope that this would set them free, but that only permitted other men with machines to enslave them. So let's keep the thought to the humans. Anyway, freetalklive.com. In the meantime, we're done. We're done. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cat-